NBC Sports presents NCAA College Football. From Los Angeles, the UCLA Bruins and the Southern California Trojans. The key man of the USC offense is a tailback, obviously. His name is Marcus Allen. In 1981, he has been a college football history maker. The first collegiate ever to rush for more than 2,000 yards in a single season. 2,300 or 2,123 so far. He has scored 21 touchdowns. He has caught 25 passes. He's a one-man gang, and he is the prime target today of the UCLA Bruins as they stay in the Rose Bowl fight. You look down on the Coliseum in the city of Los Angeles. It is a bit of an overcast day, but it is quite warm for this time of the year in contrast to the kind of weather they had today in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And it's the big one as usual between the Bruins and the Trojans. And this ABC Sports exclusive is brought to you by General Motors Corporation, designing and engineering cars for a changing world. By Payne Weber, working to get the right information first. By RCA, from their nine-inch color tracks to their giant projection TV, RCA will open your eyes. And by the Continental Insurance Companies and their 12,000 agents throughout USA. So many times, this particular ball game has meant so very much. UCLA, 7-2 and 1, ranked 13th in the major polls. USC, 8-2, ranked number 9 in the major polls. And looking at the Pac-10 standings with the Rose Bowl dangling on the end of a fragile limb, USC, uh, you see way down there at 4-2 and two with Arizona State ineligible, Washington at 5-2, and two. and up at the top, the two teams, Washington State and UCLA at 5-1-1. One, and one. Now, it is a little bit complicated when you try to figure out what happens today, who goes to where. Let's put it this way. If Washington State beats Washington in Seattle, and Vern Lundquist is there today to give us some reports on it, Washington State goes to the Rose Bowl, period. If UCLA beats USC and Washington beats Washington State, then UCLA will go to the Rose Bowl. If Washington beats Washington State and USC beats UCLA, then Washington will go to the Rose Bowl for a second successive year. The only way the Trojans can go to the Rose Bowl is for the Trojans to beat UCLA, Washington, Washington State to play a tie in Seattle. So the Rose Bowl is very much involved in this game as well as the game up in Seattle. I'm sure most of you know by now that Iowa is in the catbird seat right now in the Big Ten. Ohio State beat Michigan 14 to 9. The Hawkeyes are leading Michigan State 16 to nothing in their ball game at halftime. And if Iowa holds on to win, then the Hawkeyes will go to the Rose Bowl. Now let's turn our attention to this ball game. The tailback position at Southern California has become the glamour position for this very successful football program. And over the years, the men who carry the ball out of the tailback position have made history. Going all the way back to Howard Jones days when they had the thundering herd. They used to bring in the biggest guys they could find to play the offensive line. And then they would find the swift fellow who could carry the ball with some degree of security and literally would say, sick em. That's the way USC plays power football. Big man on big man. USC career rushing leaders. You can see there with the man involved in today's game in second place behind Charles White. But let's go back in history and take a look at some of the people who have made history, like Mike Garrett. Mike Garrett was the first tailback to win the Heisman Trophy at USC. He led the Trojans in rushing for three straight seasons and went on to an outstanding career at Kansas City and San Diego in professional football. Mike wasn't the swiftest, but he was sure. And then came O.J. from San Francisco City College to win the Heisman in 1968. He gained 1,709 yards in 1968. That was then a collegiate record. 
And then Anthony Davis, one of the most explosive of Southern California's winners, six touchdowns in that memorable turnaround game against Notre Dame in 1974. Anthony Davis and Ricky Bell, who moved from the fullback position over to tailback, an All-American in 1976, 1,957 yards in 1975, now with Tampa Bay. And then Charles White, who won the Heisman Trophy in 1979, a two-year All-American. He went over 100 yards 31 times in his three years at Southern California as the tailback, totaling 5,598 yards in his career. Now this man, Marcus Allen, you see here, when he was a senior at Lincoln High School in San Diego area. Marcus Allen was a quarterback in high school, and he was a good one. Very good on the option play, and many people felt could have played quarterback almost anywhere, but he chose Southern California, where he played fullback and did much of the blocking for Charles White and for Paul McDonald. Then he was moved to tailback in 1979. 1980, he carried the ball 354 times for 1,563 yards, and this year he has passed 2,000 yards. It was a 13-yard run against the University of Washington Huskies last week in dreadful weather in Seattle that put him in the history books. He has been a remarkable running back this year. John Robinson, his coach, calls him the prototype for this particular position with this particular team. 2,123 yards and 20 touchdowns on the ground. 25 pass receptions, including an additional touchdown. So number 33 comes into the ball game today with all kinds of NCAA records already behind him. And here is the run that gave Allen the record that he so coveted. The first man ever to go past 2,000 yards. When you can be the first man ever to do something, it is a very special moment. And Marcus Allen is already there as another Trojan tailback. We'll be back in a moment with Frank Broyles after this. Coach Frank Broyles is with us, and yes, he got up at 5 o'clock this morning, local time. Frank, they tell me they have sold over 90,000 tickets for this ball game in the Coliseum. I remember in 1967, I think one of the greatest college football games I ever saw, when Gary Beban won the Heisman Trophy, O.J. Simpson was in the hunt for it. It was a 21-20 USC win. USC won the national championship. Oh, boy. As a part of the preamble to this great traditional football game, let's enjoy our national anthem. UCLA with the gold, blue and gold. And uh, the scarlet and gold, of course, is Southern California. And that color will be all over the one side of the stadium and the other side will be the other. Now let's talk about the ball game, Frank Royals. Let's talk about the Southern California offense, which has been conservative over the last two or three weeks. Well, Keith, it really has. I was visiting with John Robinson. He said he just, a syndrome developed that he really didn't expect. Three things. One, his defense hadn't played as well as he had hoped. 
his, and they couldn't get the ball back for the offense. And then his quarterback, Mazer, hurt the thumb of his left hand. The elements up at Washington, he said, first thing you know, I'm running practically every down, and that's not my style of play, and you'll see a different offense today. So you're anticipating some first down passing early in the ball game. Let me give you one statistic that just boggles my mind for a John Robinson team. Out of 117 first down attempts, 110, Keith, were runs. Only seven passes. So you can expect UCLA to look at that very cautiously and carefully. Well, now, the Bruins beat them here last year on the tip pass play that Freeman McNeil caught and took in for the winning touchdown. UCLA also last year held Marcus Allen to 72 yards, and nobody has done it since. In fact, uh, nobody had done it uh, before that in 1980. So what Jed Hughes and his defensive planning at UCLA under Terry Donahue was to shut down the run. Do you think they'll do the same thing this year? Definitely. I think, Keith, that they'll use numerical means to crowd the line of scrimmage and try to force Southern Cal into a passing game. The key is, can they disguise their coverages so that Mesa cannot pick them apart? Because all of us that have watched Southern Cal play through the years, they are resourceful and they can attack with a pass or run. UCLA, on the other hand, now has been an opportunistic team. They had a big, big win over Washington as a result of Husky turnovers. They got a tie at Washington State as a result of Cougar turnovers. 19 of 38 turnovers have produced 113 points for the UCLA Bruins with Tom Ramsey at quarterback. Well, let's give a perfect example against Arizona State. They were able to get seven turnovers. Up until that ball game, Arizona State had been averaging one turnover a ball game. But Keith, what this means is this defense that uh, UCLA has developed has a knack of not only stopping the opposing team, but taking the ball away from them. That's a trait we all want in a defensive unit. And the Bruins now have made their entrance into the Coliseum under Terry Donahue. They're ranked 13th in the nation. And it's a resourceful football team, as we have just indicated to you, because they come in here with a chance. If they can win this ball game today, they have a chance to go up on over to the hill to Pasadena and another trip to the Rose Bowl. The other side of the stadium now starts to rattle some as the Southern California Trojans under John Robinson comes into the Coliseum. the two teams have come on to the playing field. We're getting ready for the annual. Before we do, let's have a look at the two campuses. Here's the season record of the UCLA Bruins. They opened with a big win against Arizona, a conference counter. Then they had a uh, big, big win at Wisconsin. Then Iowa beat them. They beat Colorado. Stanford beat them. Washington State tied them. But since that time, they've been impressive. And I think the last two games are particularly impressive. Southern California, on the other hand, jumped into first place in the nation after their win over Oklahoma. Then they lose a three-pointer to Arizona. Then they get back on the right track with a big win over Washington State here in the Coliseum. And then last week in dreadful weather in Seattle, they've had a horrendous uh, period of weather up in the Northwest. They lose to Washington. The series record shows USC with a decisive edge in it. The last meeting was here a year ago when the UCLA Bruins won it on the tip pass I referred to that Freeman McNeil caught on the dead run and they won the ball game by a score of 20 to 17. This is one of those games, Frank, where you, you really have to be careful. You've got to sit down and talk to yourself and, and don't get too jacked up. Well, that's one thing that uh, every coach fears is his team is so jacked up or fired up, as you say, for this type of ball game that they leave it on the ground early until you've taken one or two good solid licks, blocks, or tackles. You hold the ball with both hands, protect it, and be sure that you get by these first two or three downs before you leave it on the ground, and hopefully no leave it on the ground. A look there at Terry Donahue as the Southern California Trojans will be kicking off to Terry's Bruins. Steve Jordan will be the kicker. UCLA's return people are Cormac Carney and Jojo Townsell. And it is Carney who has been doing most of the returning. He has a rather decent average in returning kickoffs. 20, almost 25 yards per return. Now, Townsell, on the other hand, is just over 21. So we're just about ready to play football with Charlie Moffat, your referee. I'll check the officials for you. As we have time here in this first quarter, they play on real grass in the Los Angeles Coliseum. It's the most comfortable afternoon, and the game is on. Up 
the goal line, it is Carney, a wide receiver. And he's back to the 17, where he is put down by Southern California. Here's the starting backfield unit for UCLA, Tom Ramsey. Frank Bruno, who has been dinged up, he's starting today. Kevin Nelson has had trouble finishing games because of injuries. JoJo Townsell is a flyer outside. And Cormac Carney is the split in who just returned for that kickoff for the Bruins. They have put the ball at the 18 now on forward progress. And here is your first scrimmage play of the ball game as UCLA operates out of the eye. Trojan set up right now a 5-6 man front defensively and uh, Ramsey comes out throwing he whips the pass to the sidelines it is good to Townsell he fumbles the football and the Trojans recover it at the 40. August Curley knocks the ball loose and Chip Banks scoops it up. Keith, we were talking about the first play of the ball game protecting the football. It's a bootleg, a very daring call on first down. And you can see Townsell, number 26, escapes Colonel, breaks back inside. Williams misses him, but uh, Curley comes back from inside, knocks the ball loose. He goes flying out. Southern Cal has it. And the Trojans now will go from just outside the UCLA 40. Ooh turnover shows up early in the ball game it's Marcus Allen big hole inside the 30 down to the 28 Roy Foster the guard opened the door for him John Mazur is your sophomore quarterback young left-hander Todd Spencer is the fullback only a sophomore there's the man Marcus Allen John Kamana is out of Hawaii. Jeff Simmons, you remember, some of you, I am sure, the big game he had against Oklahoma. It's first down, Southern California at the UCLA 28. Bruins up there with a six-man front. They take it inside, dispense with the fullback. And he's inside the 25, inside the 24. Mose Bar is a tackle at 275 for the Trojans. Matthews a guard at 260. The center is Slayton at 250 pounds. Roy Foster, good one, 265. Kelly, Daryl Moore it is at 260, a junior. And Fred Cornwell, who was the hero in the Oklahoma game, at 234. He's only caught one of the pass this season. It's Allen. And Marcus Allen is to the 20. They'll be looking at third down and about two. The defensive unit for UCLA, Gary Morgan Eatman Clemens, Butler Montgomery Gordon. You might find any of those along the front line with Turner Lang Sullivan and Rogers in the defensive secondary. And you also will see Tom Sullivan, safety man, come up and play line support quite a bit. Third down and two as Southern California is trying to cash in on a UCLA turnover in the first quarter of play. They took the ball just outside the Bruin 40 after Townsell's fumble. Major gives the ball to Allen, a seal block on the left side. He is hit by Sullivan at the 15. He tumbles down at the 10. It's another Southern California first down. Southern Cal offensive line is known to be very, very physical, and Keith is very obvious on this first possession. They are controlling, not allowing any penetration, but give Simmons, the wide receiver, the key block that sprung Allen into the secondary. Some of the remarkable statistics for Allen, as we noted about the 2,000, you can see he's number one in the country, averaging over 212 yards a game. He's had a year for the historian. First down from just outside the 10, Major puts it in the air. Simmons is over there, and he can't hold on to the ball. Mike Durden was with him, but it looked to me like he just flat dropped it. He got Simmons, a penalty flag. Simmons pushed off, Keith. The one thing we talked about the other day, Simmons goes in and pushes off the defensive back, and that is illegal. Let's watch it again. Simmons, number 29, is going to go down on the defensive back. He cannot use his hands. He knows that a pass has been called. He must avoid the receiver. Now, let's watch it. See him push off his hands just a little bit. The pass was incomplete, but it's 15-yard penalty keep and loss of down. Charlie Moffitt, the referee. Mike Durden was the defensive back in the ball game at that time, number 29. Offensive pass interference, loss of down, second down. So the Bruins 
having bad luck bite him now get a break as Simmons uses his hands watch him he comes down just simply puts his hands on Durden and gives him a shove and he got the flag right there flag was on the ground before the ball got there don't see that call too often Keith. it's second down just outside the 25 Marcus Allen Bruins get him short of the 20 at the 21 12 minutes and 20 seconds to play in the first quarter Carl Morgan nose guard out of Homa Louisiana for UCLA a 239 pound junior made that stop and the Bruin coaches like him. They certainly do. They feel that he hasn't gotten the publicity that uh, Chica has gotten. But number 40, Morgan, you can see that he's coming inside. Most bar number 60, Truist, is trying to scoot block him. But uh, Morgan just continues and gets involved in the play along with some teammates. From the 21, it is third down. They have to go inside the one for a first down. So they need about 20 for a first down, 21 for a touchdown. Major going to put it up. He goes looping to the corner, and the pass is incomplete, intended for number 19 for Southern California. Timmy Ware, a freshman out of Compton. And Ware's presence in the ball game. He's a speedster, and it's surprised me a little bit to see him in so soon. So now. The Trojans will settle in for the field goal try. You know, I think we should mention it. UCLA came with a blitz. Mesa didn't have quite enough time to uh, load up and throw the ball accurately to the receiver. 38-yard attempt for Steve Jordan. From this distance, he's three out of four this season. Plenty of leg on it, and it is good. So the Trojans come away with some points, and that's a very important thing. At 11.36 to go in the first quarter, the Bruins fumble it, the Trojans get three, and they three to nothing. The USC Trojans on a 38-yard field goal take a 3 nothing lead here in the first quarter after the Bruin fumble. Now we'll see if the Bruins can move the ball again as Jordan hammers it down there. The Townsell and JoJo comes up the middle, looks to a little daylight and comes to the 20, just across the 20. 11.31 to go in the first quarter. Your defensive unit for USC, Edwards, Achika, Usri, Del Rio, linebackers uh, along with Del Rio are Darby Banks and Curley. Secondary, Browner, Turner, West, and Williams. And you can find some uh, cracks in that USC secondary this season. The good passing teams have been able to find some. There's uh, Cormac Carney, who was shaken up on the kickoff. He is the prime kickoff returner for them, and obviously a leading pass receiver for UCLA. They will be hurt if they lose him. He has caught 24 for an average of almost 19 yards per reception this season. Ricky Kaufman, who is 5'11", 192-pound senior from Long Beach, goes in. He may be a little faster than Carney, but doesn't particularly have the hands of Carney. He's not able to catch the ball in the crowd as well as Cormac. They go to the ground with uh, Nelson, Kevin Nelson, popping up the middle, getting the tackle from Chip Banks, and he had a good hold from uh, uh, Duval Love and Dave Odie in the middle of the line. Marcus Allen, who had four carries and 29 yards in the effort by USC that resulted in three points. Keith, it's interesting to me that uh, Southern Cal has got a little coaching session going with a blocking assignment. Evidently, UCLA has surprised them with something they haven't shown before on defense. Bruins come up on second down and three after the seven-yard pickup by Nelson. Ball goes to Kevin again. He is right down right at the line of scrimmage. And big 52 stepped in there. Jack Del Rio, a freshman out of Hayward, California, to make the play. The UCLA offensive front dinged some. A lot of fellows with chips and scratches and sore spots. Duval Love, a freshman, getting the call at guard today instead of Mike Jolly. There was a loss of a yard on that play. It is now third down and four. The ball is at the 27. Inside the 27. Ramsey to put it up. Tom gets it off. It is almost picked off. He's very fortunate that pass was not intercepted on the sideline pattern because a USC man came through there, Joey Browner, and had his hands on it. So UCLA will have to punt it. Joey Browner played the pattern perfectly. He laid back, enticed Ramsey to throw the ball. Then he had the quickness to come in front. And as Keith mentioned, went right through his hands. Otherwise, it would have been another break for Southern Cal. 
Kevin Bordefay, sophomore out of Tulare, will do the punting. He's averaging 41.3 on his kicks in 1981. Gets it out of there, and it's a pretty good kick. A high hanger forcing a fair catch ball by Joey Browner. Back at the Southern California 30. That was a 43-yard punt by Buena Fe. ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. Next Monday, the Minnesota Vikings and the Atlanta Falcons. It's put up time for both those ball clubs, but the job that Bud Plant has done this year with that Minnesota ball club is, is really something special in the annals of Minnesota. He changed his entire philosophy from a running possession-type football team. Uh, Bud Grant has to completely a passing attack with Tommy Kramer, who's just had a sensational year. So Southern California from the 30 now at 10.09 to go in the first quarter and leading three to nothing. See what the Bruins do with their defense. They've got a five-man front up there. Now here comes Sullivan up along the line as support. That gives him a seven-man. Now he drops off. They dance around a lot. Mazur steps back to throw. Good protection. Loops it downfield. Great catch downfield by Timmy White. UCLA man was in front of him, seemingly had an opportunity to knock it away, but White comes down with it for 16 yards. Right behind the offense, you can see exactly that Mazur has plenty of time, but he, and that lets him make a careful, perfect throw over the head to uh, Turner, right in, of uh, Sullivan, excuse me, right in the hands of Timmy White, number six, who's one of the fine receivers of Southern Cal. Got a great burst of speed, and you can see right there, good concentration. At the 46, it is a first down for Southern California. The fullback, Spencer, and Spencer close to midfield. His daddy was a fellow named Thad Spencer, whom I remember seeing some time back as a very fine heavyweight boxer. Spencer has given Southern Cal a little bit of a new dimension. He's a former tailback, incidentally, that has moved the fullback. He's picked up on his blocking, but he gives an extra threat to the Southern Cal offense to take some of the pressure off of Marcus Allen. He gained four, second down and six at midfield for the Trojans. Allen. Up the middle he goes, and it looks like somebody reached 27, it was, reached in there and grabbed him by the ankle. Blanchard Montgomery, the inside linebacker from Northridge, California. But Allen gets enough for a Southern California first down at the UCLA 43. Allen now with 36 yards on five carries. Came into the game with 2,123. Fantastic statistic. Fullback Spencer to the ball. He's close to the 40 for about three yards. UCLA's defense is still trying to make something happen. They're moving with four down linemen, trying to get some penetration. Southern Cal offensive line has been too successful and effective so far. Allen is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Momentum gets him back to the line of scrimmage. It was Blanchard Montgomery, number 27, making the stop for the Bruin. Blanchard Montgomery is one of the fine young linebackers, and incidentally, Keith, he was a running back, but he weighs 227, has 4'6 speed. They expect if they're going to win this ball game, he's got to have an outstanding game. He is key for the defense of UCLA. Timmy Ware is back in the lineup now for Southern California. Malcolm Moore, number 22, is the wide man to the top. And White to the bottom. And Major stands up, looks at Moore, throws. It is intercepted by Tom Sullivan. Great anticipation by Sullivan. I've never seen better timing by a safety man. The, as receiver Moore is going right across the middle, you're going to see the safety. Watch him come from behind. Right in front of him. He's a great football player, Sullivan. He's already had 10 interceptions this year. That's his 11. And so the Bruins get the ball back at their own 34. Tommy Sullivan. Great timing, anticipation on the play. One of the things that helped Tom on that play, though, was that Mazur looked at Moore the whole time and never took his eyes off of him. That's Whiteman, the tight end, shifting over. It is Nelson, the tailback. 
And Kevin breaks a tackle, gets it out to the 39 for about a five yard pickup. He is the younger brother of Darren Nelson of Stanford. Again, a look at the interception, Frank, and I'm reminded of this interception of Sullivan that he made the pickoff play against Ohio State last year that was a very big play for the Bruins in a 17 nothing win. Believe me, that was a sensational play. Coming in front of the receiver from the free safety is a difficult chore. It's Nelson again with the ball stumbled from the backfield and goes down. We should mention that Southern uh, UCLA's offensive line has been uh, decimated with injuries. Five starters have been in and out. Their plan today is not to wade into the strength of Southern Cal up the middle, but try to use their speed to the advantage and also passing to the outside receivers. The football is near the 38 of UCLA. They need third down and six. They trail three to nothing. Get a different offensive set there as Ramsey goes on a roll to the right side. He's got a man on the sidelines, and the pass is complete to Cormac Kearney. Nope, didn't hold it. Didn't hold it. it didn't hold it. He had Kearney over there, and uh, by the time he whipped it, Cormac was trying to dance with the sidelines, and I guess he just didn't get it down in time. It appeared that he led uh, Carmack a little bit too far into the boundary. Pitt rolling in the fourth quarter over Temple, setting up the big one next week between Pitt Penn State. Clemson now with a rather comfortable lead over South Carolina in the fourth quarter. The Tigers trying to finish the year undefeated, 11 and 0. Boynefe is in the punt. Browner is deep. The kick is away. It's a spinner. Brown may decide to go with this one. Nope. He hooked it away from him and lets it roll, and it takes a UCLA bounce and rolls inside the 10, dead at the 9. So the Trojans now, after a 52-yard punt by Buena Fe, are going to be backed up in deep in their own territory. Nebraska headed for the Orange Bowl. Big win today, apparently. But there was one that was a surprise at Ann Arbor. Ohio State beat Michigan 14 to 9 that score is wrong as you see it it's the other way around Keith, uh, we must mention and make the point once again that a safety man should never let the ball hit the ground that's inconsistent with sound football backed him up deep in the hole by letting it roll so at 621 to go in the first quarter the Trojans go to work it goes to Marcus Allen as you figured it would and a penalty flag is thrown up around the 13. There's your correct score out of Ann Arbor today. Jeff Simmons might have been the guilty man here. He might have clipped Jimmy Turner. He did, Keith. And one thing the Southern Cal is being forced to do uh, with this eight-man front, their flanker, as we listen to the penalty. Yeah. That's holding call, not a clip. Watch 29. He still blocks him from behind. You can watch him. 35, Turner is up. And you can, well, he grabs him with his left hand. He's blocking from the rear. So he, he could call it either one. <laughs> you have your druthers on that call. Well, let use the hands on the offense. First down. I was, I was trying to make the point that the eight-man front forces the flanker to block the man up on the line of scrimmage, not release down the field as he would normally do against a seven-man front. There's the officiating crew for today's ball game, and they're good ones. Been around a long time, all of them. It's first down and 14 from about the five. Allen out of the end zone. He comes up to the eight, and the Bruins get him there. Number 99, Clemens, Carl Morgan, number 40, Martin Moss, number 55. And there's an upset today as the Louisville Cardinals jump on Southern Mississippi, giving the Golden Eagles their first loss. And in the third quarter, SMU ineligible for the Cotton Bowl, leading Arkansas 12 to 7. It was a little swing pass that Arkansas's quarterback Tom Jones tried from the 11, picked off by the Ponies, and they stepped in for the go-ahead score. Second down and about 11. Ball is on the 8. Major gives the ball to Allen. Allen fumbles the football. UCLA has got it. The Trojans turn it over. Mike Burden comes up for the ball. Keith, it appeared that Marcus Allen, because of penetration in the backfield, tried to make his cut and his faulty ball handling. You can see that uh, Mesa doesn't get the ball out to him. 
but Marcus was breaking away from him, trying to go to the open area, and that's what caused the fumble. 29 dirt and recovered. And the football belongs to UCLA at the Southern California 11. So we are getting turnovers. That's three of them in the ball game. And Southern California's 3-0 lead now in some jeopardy as Ramsey sets the Bruin. Stands up. Loops it to the corner. No. Included for, let's see, Townsell, 26, and defending Joe Turner. The ball was just an inch too high. Gee, that's one of the toughest patterns to, to defend against on the goal line. We call it the fade pattern, what, what pattern where the receiver just goes out and fades to the end zone line and the passer lays it up. Townsell comes out of the ball game now. And Willie Curran goes in for UCLA, second down from the Trojan 11. Whiteman again shifts over. Ramsey gives to Nelson. Nelson on a sweep, cuts it back inside. He's got a touchdown, UCLA! yard run by Kevin Nelson behind the block of Bruno and the Bruins have the lead the extra point try Johnson Norm Johnson knuckle balls it up there and it is good at 505 to play in the first quarter UCLA cashes in a Southern California fumble from the 11. Watch the block of Bruno, the fullback, that gets Nelson going. Number 42, and you can see that Southern Cal made the mistake of overrunning the play. You can see as he cuts back, look at the red shirts outside of the sweep. Nelson makes a sensational run, and we'll be right back after this. 5 to play in the first quarter. The numbers on UCLA's first touchdown go ahead by a score of 7-3. to three. The Trojans hit the ball, the kick, as it went over the line of scrimmage, but it tumbled on through. And the Goodyear blip, Columbia out of Los Angeles with Captain Corkett Ballinger soaring overhead. They kick it down into the corner, deep into the end zone, and Crutcher runs it down, and there will be no return. It'll be Trojans' ball at the 20. Right now, a moment with Jim Lampley. Final score at University Park, Pennsylvania. Penn State winning 24-21 on a late Blackledge touchdown run after an interception. Keel had put Notre Dame ahead with a touchdown pass and then threw the interception. This makes Penn State 8-2 going into their game with Pitt. Notre Dame 5-5, five and, five and they'll close against Miami next Friday night. Now to Keith Jackson. All right, Jim, we'll have that ball game for you next week. Notre Dame and Miami out of the Orange Bowl, and the Irish will have to win it to avoid a losing season. Major comes up and sets it. Allen in the eye back position. The fullback is Bob McClanahan. Allen has the ball. Big hole up the middle for Marcus across the 30, out to the 32. Again, the fullback for Southern California is the blocking back on the play, McClanahan. Here are some other scores of games being played or completed as of this hour. Iowa 19 to 7 over Michigan State. If the Hawkeyes win the ball game, they will go to the Rose Bowl. It'll be Iowa's first trip to Pasadena since Forrest Evershevsky's days. Indiana beating Purdue 20 to 17. Jimmy Young, the coach, said this week that he is retiring at the end of the season. First down to USC from their own 32. UCLA leads 7 to 3. Mazur gives to Allen. Penalty flag thrown by the referee. When the referee throws his laundry down, it's normally against the offense. And most of the time, it'll involve procedure or motion. Southern Cal doesn't need to make these offensive mistakes. They had 11 penalties in the game last week against Washington, lost 13 to 3. They were hoping they could play a penalty-free football. Illegal motion, offense, still first down. Trojans have been flagged three times for 25 yards. Other scores, North Carolina beating Duke 31-3, but the Blue Devils have a winning season this year. 
Miami, which goes against the Irish, winning over North Carolina State. So Howard Schnellenberger's ball club still doing very well. It is now first down and 15 for Southern California. The ball from the 27, Major to put it up, swings it out to Allen. His 26th pass reception of the season. He gets it to about the 29 before Mike Durden comes across to make the tackle on him. UCLA, as we look at Oklahoma State, score against our state with the winner probably going to one of the bowls. UCLA, UCLA's defensive secondary, Keith, I think are outstanding. They're good tacklers. That's one thing they need to be, but they also can defend against the pass. Second down and 13 from the 29 for the Trojans. White comes to the right side along with Malcolm Moore. They go the other way, the short side with Marcus Allen. And Allen comes up near the 34. So you'll be looking at third and long as once again Carl Morgan fights his way through the traffic, the nose guard for the Bruins to make the tackle. One thing that happened for Southern Cal on the last play, Todd Spencer, the fullback, went to the right. He was supposed to lead as, as a blocker, but uh, Marcus Allen didn't have much of a chance without the fullback leading on the linebacker. Time remaining in the first quarter reflected there on the Coliseum scoreboard. Third down and eight from the 34. Split backs this time. And Major straight back. He looks. He's in some trouble. He gets it off. The pass is incomplete and could well have been intercepted. It was a bad pass. It was an ill-conceived pass on his part. And we've got a penalty flag as Doug West may have been the man flagged on the play as he lowered Mazur after the ball had left. I mean, he popped him. The penalty defined for UCLA and the Bruins' shoulders sag for a moment, so it's going against UCLA. That was so unnecessary. West uh, could see that Mazur was getting rid of the ball, just let him throw it. Number 53 for the we UCLA. Roughing the passer, roughing the passer. First down. Joe Gary comes hobbling off the field. Doug West, number 41. You can see he's rushing as Mesa had scrambled out. Looked like he'd broken containment. Number 41, Doug West. The ball is thrown. The helmet goes in. Rough in the pass. He dropped his head and probably didn't see. He's taking his eyes off. He's just leveling on the man. And it's first down for Southern California. The ball is on the 48 of SC, and the ball goes to Marcus Allen. He goes up the middle, and he goes up the middle big down to the UCLA 38. And so here's Southern California now. After wobbling around and making mistakes, the Bruins come right back, and they make a mistake, and suddenly SC's got it moving. The last play, Marcus Allen <laughs> made the cut inside. Keep that something he does so well. Keeps those legs turning, breaks some tackles, and just burst right into the secondary. It's amazing to me that he doesn't wear down. 36 carries a game is what he's averaged in the first 10 contests. Mike Durden, defensive back, came out of the light up. Marcus is out of the ball game, Keith. And Crutcher is in as a Gibson. It is Anthony Gibson at tailback. He's got some speed. He's got the ball. He's not as big and strong as Allen, but he is very, very quick. And he's inside the 35, down to the 33. And that means they'll need the better part of five yards for the first down. Allen is back as Gibson leaves. Pretty good first down surge. Six yards. An offensive line of Southern Cal just doing outstanding work. Second down. Allen. He knew where the marker was. He put his head and shoulder in there, and he goes for the first down. So Southern California continues to march the ball downfield, and it was the roughing the passer call against the Bruins that really gave the Trojans some momentum in this possession. UCLA leading by a score of 7-3. to three. And very quickly, if UCLA wins today 
and Washington beat Washington State in Seattle, the Bruins will go to the Rose Bowl. And we'll have a rematch of an earlier season game, the season of games. That's right, Iowa, which beat UCLA back there. It goes to the tailback alley. He cuts it back into the stack, goes inside the 20, down to the 19. Some Montgomery again on the uh, on the play for UCLA. Excuse me, Frank. This is a penalty. Big one. So the Trojans continue to threaten to self-destruct. There's Marcus Allen. Really, it, he is the ultimate in college football, I think. Mentally and physically, he has all of the skills that you're looking for. He's a fierce competitor. And the amazing thing is how durable he is. Averaging Offensive 36. Holding. Averaging, Still 30, first down. averaging 36 tries a game. Everybody keying on him. First priority to stop him. No one has so far this year. They've got to go to the 16 for the first down. The ball is back just outside the 32. We make it a first down and 17. Major looks. Swings it out to Allen. That's 27 catches for the year. And he's inside the 25 to the 24, and again, you have penalty flags across the way. Bruce Matthews out of there right now is shaken up on the preceding play, putting Joe Murray into the lineup. Looked like that Tony Slayton had clipped on the play. The center uh, goes out on the screen and makes the key block. So the Trojan mistakes. A UCLA man shaken up as well. They are swacking each other around down there. You make no question about it because a lot of these people have played each other from uh, Little League days on up to now. I guess the neighborhood brawl is the fiercest of them all, and this is one of them. The Southern California penalty totals now. They've been flagged five times Clipping for 50 on the yards. offense. Still first down. And the football moves back to the UCLA 48. They need 32 yards. Coming out of the lineup is Brad Clemens, number 99 for the Bruins. Brad Clemens has had his fair share of injuries during his career. Do you see Slayton making let's the trip see, right there? Let's see, yes. Number 73, right over there it is, right in the right of your screen. Is blocking on dirt number 29 and uh, blocking from the rear above the waist, clipping. That's the second time in a ball game that uh, Mike Durden has had uh, has been involved in the penalty situation. One on uh, and the wide receiver of SC a little while ago, and now this one on the center. Seven to three, Bruins have the lead with 25 seconds to go in the quarter. First down and 32 for SC, and Mazur sets up the throw, swings the ball out to Crutcher out of the tailback position. Crutcher is tripped up and falls ahead to about the 42 of UCLA. Tom Sullivan made the stop. On Friday of next week, we'll have the Fighting Irish trying to stay away from a losing season against the Hurricane of Miami in the Orange Bowl in Miami, and then on Saturday, a doubleheader. And State and Pitt, Pitt trying to win a national championship. They're undefeated. Alabama and Auburn as Paul Bryant seeks with his Crimson Tide to break the winning mark of Amos Alonzo Stad. We start the second quarter of play here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Keith Jackson, Frank Broyles, along with Steve Davis. It's second down and 26 for Southern California. The football is on the UCLA 42 with the Bruins leading by a score of 7 to 3. Trojans have just been involved in a series of mistakes. Mazur's pass is away for more. It is incomplete, out of bounds, and it'll bring up third down. The Washington-Washington State game has just gotten underway a few minutes ago up in Seattle. They had a, a 1.30 kickoff scheduled up there, and Vern Lundquist is there to keep us surprised of what's going on. And there will be some scoreboard watching in both stadiums today. You can be sure of that. Major now is three out of seven for 24 yards with one interception. Interception by Tom Sullivan. Neil Delacono, a freshman from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is the outside linebacker now for UCLA, replacing Clemens. Major gives the ball to Allen. Penalty flag is thrown by the referee again as Allen is reversing his field and breaking free on the sidelines. 
A big game, short of the first down, but let's wait and see about the penalty. Procedure, Trojan. In this possession, that is what, the fourth penalty night? Four times they've been flagged in this one possession. Well, let's look at the stats for the first quarter. The surprising thing is the amount of yardage rushing. 100 yards at that rate, they would be rushing for 400 yards against a fine UCLA defense. But UCLA offense and defense really is having problems. Keith, only one first down. I'd say it's been Billy all Wilson on the offense. All Third Southern down. Cal in the first quarter. Third down as they back them up five more. The football going back to the 46. They need 30 yards for a first down on the third down play coming up. Major goes over the middle with it. He gets Timmy White. White can't get loose. He's short of the first down as he is decked hard at the 41. Mike Durden made the hit for the Bruins, and it brings up fourth down for USC and the punt. Good defensive play by UCLA, conceding the short pass, defending against the long, forcing the punt. Tom Sullivan goes back as the deep man for UCLA with Dave Pryor in to do the kicking. Sullivan, the sure-handed safety man for UCLA. Staff is on the money. Fire hangs it way up in the air, trying to kill it deep. And they can't do it. Comes out to the 20. As the ball took a big bounce, Trojans couldn't get a handle on it. And you've got a penalty flag. You've got a penalty flag on the field right now. Dave Dial. All right, Keith, the Iowa Hawkeyes are less than 15 minutes away from a trip to Pasadena. They can make those hotel reservations. Leading 19 to 7 late in the third period, Phil Blatcher over from the one. The extra point is good. The Hawkeyes lead 26 to 7. Blatcher's over 200 yards. Now back to Keith. I wonder how high Hayden Fry is going to jump. Well, Hayden deserves some success. He's a hard worker. He's paid his dues. He's a longtime friend of mine. I coached him. He Penalty is against uh, UCLA here, Frank. And it's a personal foul, and that's an automatic first down. USC's had the ball for about 10 or 12 minutes, it seems to me, in this possession. They've had it a long time because of the succession of penalties. Charlie Moffin. Unless it was personal foul on the defense. Still fourth down. Well, well, I'm wrong. Still fourth down. They've had it over seven minutes in this possession. The football now is located at the UCLA 27. It is fourth down and 12 for the first down. And they're going to go for the field goal. The ball will be spotted at the 34. The kick is in the air by Jordan. And it is good. So Jordan has his second field goal of the ball game, and the Trojans, after more than seven minutes of possessing the ball, and there were a total of six penalties involved by both teams, the score is now seven to six. Cameraman Archie Griffin's up in the Goodyear Blimp Columbia with our technician, Hugo DiLeonardo. This is the newest Blimp Goodyear, less than six months old. Comes out of Gardena. That's the picture. Very pleasant day. Jordan now will kick off, Steve. And the deep men are Curran and Townsell. A bounce right into Townsell's hand. Jojo comes up, gets a hold. Good return. Bruins have good field position. All the way out to the 42. It was a 39-yard return, and Joey Brunner brought him down. Let's watch it again. The key to a kickoff return is timing of the blocks. The blocks have to be made. Look at the crease. That is a beautiful blocking by UCLA. And watch the running by Towns, Townsell, number 26. Bruins ball. They're on 42. They lead 7-6, second quarter of play. Tom Ramsey, the quarterback. He moves Whiteman over. Big tight end and a good one. Ball goes to the tailback, Kevin Nelson. East of the 45-yard line for three. 
Byron Darby made the stop for Southern California inside linebacker. Byron Darby has played just about every position for Southern Cal. Defensive tackle, defensive end, and now inside linebacker. And he's having a good season. Linebacking core is Del Rio, Darby, Banks, and Curley for Southern California. Chica settles in at the nose guard. Second down and seven for UCLA. Ramsey back to throw. He goes short with it, throws the ball behind his intended receiver, Kevin Nelson, the tailback. He had him wide open. Big George Achika plays the nose guard for Southern Cal. Number 78. You can see the center is blocking right now, Arthur. But then you can see a couple other men, the guards are just 61, and others are just keeping him out of the play. Three of them blocking him. And it's third down and seven from the 45 for UCLA. Ramsey will put it up. Gonna run for his life. He's close to his first down. I think he's got it. Yes. Looks to me like he got across the uh, Southern Cal 47. You've got 12 minutes and 37 seconds to play in the first half now. Iowa Hawkeyes, you heard Dave Dial say a little while ago, on their way west, they hope. Sugar Bowl looks like this. Not official yet. Georgia and Pittsburgh. It is a first down. Well, Pitts finished playing, so I guess we can say it is official. The invitation uh, confirmed. So it's Georgia and Pittsburgh in the Sugar Bowl. Could be we'll have another Sugar Bowl game for the national championship. You'll see it here on ABC New Year's night. Ramsey back to throw it on a roll. Got some heat here, and Achika got away from it. Achika got away from the blockers inside that time. So they tried to go one on one with Big George, and he blows him away. George weighs 250 pounds. He's got great quickness and strength. John Robinson says that he's one of the fine football players he's ever coached. The key to that pass rush is keeping his legs going. That's just what's the mark of a great football player. Beat the center, number 51. Dave Odie finally sacks Ramsey. Loss of three. Second down, 13 for the Bruins from midfield. Out of the shotgun, hands the ball off inside to Nelson. Kevin Nelson runs it down across the 45 to the Southern California 44. So a little wrinkle out of the shotgun. This is also official. The Orange Bowl will have Clemson. The Tigers ranked number one uh, in the minds of everybody in that part of the country, 11 and 0. Boy, I'll tell you, they're very excited about that football team of Danny Fords. They go against Nebraska and the Peach Bowl. As West Virginia losing today, going against the winner of the Florida Florida State game next week. It is third down and eight. Ball is just inside the 45. Going strong left, and Ramsey sets up that way. Now he gets away from one red shirt, but USC's defense is relentless in its pursuit. It is Achika that gets the Bruin quarterback down. It was Usri that made him change direction. We want to mention that we will continue to update the bowl developments and bring them to you as we learn them. Ramsey Keith has not had good, uh, good enough pass protection to really pick his receivers and get his passing game going. Buena Fe is in the punt now on fourth down and 11. Browner is the deep man for Southern California. He'll hit it up around his 43. Gets it out of there. It's a good kick. It's got end zone depth, and that's where it bounces. 10-29 to play in the first half. After a 47-yard punt, Southern California will get the ball back at their own 20. And UCLA leading 7-6. Howard Cosell's sports beat tomorrow will have a feature on the NBA going for broke and uh, that means uh, flat wallet and the Carl Eller story quite a remarkable story about quite a remarkable guy a friend of mine and I hope he wins his fight you'll enjoy seeing it with Howard tomorrow here on ABC all right the Trojans go to work now with Marcus Allen the tailback and he's got the ball and he's got about seven yards out to the 27 before Don Rogers brings him down. 
Allen now with 90 yards in the first half and 10-15 to play. One thing that we should always notice about Marcus Allen when he's got the ball, Keith, he runs with power and authority for the first four yards. And then he starts looking for, as we look at some of his records so far today and earlier, then he starts worrying about the long run, but he goes for that four yards first, and he can explode. Second down and three. Fullback gets it this time. And he is short of the first down. Todd Spencer carrying and number 55, Martin Moss. Wrestles him down at about the 28. Talking about the Heisman, obviously Allen is a Heisman candidate. Obviously Herschel Walker of Georgia is a Heisman candidate. Obviously Art Schleister, Ohio State, who had a big, big day today and leading the win over Michigan. There's a fellow out in the mountain country at BYU named Jim McMahon who has just absolutely torn up the record book. He's something like 47 NCAA records for the BYU Cougars. And many of the Heisman ballots are on their way to the mailbox this week as the handoff goes inside. It is looked like the ball might have come loose. Hold on. Allen was airborne. And they say the Trojans retained the ball. Keith, I think that was a good call because Allen was over the top. Once his forward progress is stopped and he starts going back by pushing by the, the UCLA lineman, the ball popped out. Forward progress kills the ball. It's first down for Southern California. The ball is just over the 30. Mazur. A lot of time gets his pass off, throwing for White, overthrows it. Kenny White, not quite lanky enough to get that one. Clemens is back in the lineup for UCLA at an outside linebacking position, and he was the man dropping back to cover on that play. It's customary for Southern Cal in their signal calling to call a run in the huddle and then check to a pass as we look at the first downs. Kind of surprising, 9-2. to two. In this ball game, John Robinson told me he's going to call a pass on first down, then change to the run if he wants to. A five-man, six-man front now. As support comes from the outside, give it inside to the fullback. And Spencer, a 200-pounder from Berkeley, breaks it big and a first down for Southern California up around the 45. It's a quick-hitting play. Everybody's preoccupied with the delayed runs of, of uh, Marcus Allen, but Spencer, incidentally, as we said, was a former tailback, has quickness and speed, and he pops right into the secondary for a big first down. You got a Todd Spencer playing for USC back at Ohio State. They've got a Tim Spencer playing tailback for them. Here's the pitch. Going to reverse it. Give it a white. Former quarterback sets up the throw. Goes deep with it. It is caught by seven down on the UCLA seven yard line. Oh, what a perfect execution on the reverse pass. Kenny White, as Keith mentioned, the former quarterback, <laughs> he can still play quarterback. Watch him wind up and drop the ball perfectly. It's going to take a perfect pass to be completed. You can see right there, Simmons has got it. Big, big play, perfectly executed. 48 yards on the play and a first and goal to go. Southern California on the UCLA 7. Timmy White came out here along with uh, Scott Tinsley. There were three of them that came out here, all quarterbacks. White made the transition to wide receiver. Allen. Touchdown. Spencer, number 23, watch the fullback. He weighs only 200 pounds, but he's really improved his blocking. You can see him block the cornerback out. Allen cuts right inside for the touchdown. 
That's just a classic example of the sweep. Let's watch Spencer number 23. His job is to block out the force corner. You can see that he's got down here to go shoulder blocking right outside number 32 Sullivan and Marcus Allen cuts inside for a touchdown. Timeout is called by Southern California. Back in the days when we trotted around with the ball, they used to call him a blocking back. But here's the play. Now watch the work of Simmons. He's got to do the faking. He's got to deceive the defense. Watch him. Now this is the play before. He kind of just drifts down the field until he gets the defense thinking it's a run. Then you can see Turner number 35 is beaten on the play. White has more, I mean Simmons has more speed. Finally Lang number two brings him to the ground. Now let's look at the touchdown, the blocking. Watch the blocking on the left develop from behind the offense. Look at the hole. Look at that offensive line, and then you see Spencer knock the contained man out, opening the gap for Allen to score. Oh, boy, what a beautiful drive that was. A gadget play setting up most of the yardage. How about John Mason? 22 touchdowns to Marcus Allen ties O.J. Simpson's 1968 regular season mark of 22. I know what John Robinson was probably telling one for John two. Mesa. Yes, he's not only is he going to two, but he was also telling, hey, boy, that's the way to manage that football team. You're doing a great job. We're not throwing very much, but we're winning the football game. Now, that's the object of the game. Two field goals. Now they're going to go for two and try to make it a 14 to 7 ball game. Puts it up. No. No chance. Simmons was over there. And uh, just no chance for Jeff to get to the ball as the pressure was on. Allen was also in the neighborhood. So the score now is USC 12, UCLA 7. Willie Curran has gone deep with uh, Jojo Tanzel to receive the kickoff from Southern California as the Trojans go out in the lead 12 to 7. Cormac Kearney, who has been returning the kickoffs for UCLA, is out of the ball game with a separated left shoulder. So he's gone today, apparently, and that is a big loss. The ball is picked up by Tanzel, and he is dropped. Up on the 23. Right now, let's go to Vern Lundquist in Seattle and bring us up to date on the Huskies and the Cougars. Thank you, Keith. We've got a minute 24 remaining in the first quarter. No score in this game, and there have been no scoring threats thus far. Washington currently has a fourth down and nine. They are about to kick it away to the Cougars, and we'll keep you updated. Keith? The 24 for the Bruins, first down. Trojans leading now 12 to 7, a game that has been marked as much as anything by mistakes and the one big play. Bruins cashed in a turnover. Ramsey back to throw it, getting pressure, gets it off. The pass is caught. Nice catch up on the 34. And that will be close to a first down for UCLA as Ricky Kaufman went up in the air to bring it down. One thing that the coaches is a penalty flag back, Keith, and UCLA is moving back. The ball was right on target here, yeah, wasn't it? It was, and uh, you can see that uh, Rams is very good at scrambling. That's one thing that the Southern Cal coaches mentioned, that he moves around and gets the ball off and can hurt you. Penalty is against UCLA. Costly. They give up a 10-yard pickup. Backs them up. Yeah, look at the use of hands on the offense. Still first down. Illegal use of hands now. Isn't that a five-yard penalty? It is. But it must have been in the backfield. I think that's what he's yelling about. It must have been one of the backs that was blocking very close to the quarterback, Keith. So it's from the spot of the foul. So it's backed up at the seven. Seven-yard line. Gain is after the 15 as Nelson carries. And Curley brings him down, and a look at Marcus Allen on the Southern California bench. What else can we say about this young man, Marcus Allen, approaching 100 yards already, only one game in his career as a tailback has he rushed for less than 100 yards, and that was this game a year ago. Sapali, Tao Sapali, Toa Sapali is in the ball game. Ends on a roll. Got a lot of time. Now he throws it down the sidelines and throws it incomplete into the crowd on the UCLA sideline. 
Six fifteen to play in the first half next Friday. Notre Dame and Miami out of the Orange Bowl at three Eastern time. Then on Saturday a doubleheader. Pitt Penn State at Pittsburgh. Alabama Auburn in Birmingham. We'll be at the Alabama Auburn game on Saturday after we work in Miami on Friday. And of course in Birmingham we'll be having a look at Paul Bryant as he attempts to step into football history at the collegiate level all along. It's third down for the Bruins. Ramsey gets it in the air. High downfield. No chance for the intended receiver Willie Curran. And so now USC will get the ball back and they should get good field position with it. Keith we've been talking about the Southern Cal offense. We should give credit to the Southern Cal defense for the way they have performed. They have completely bottled up the running game of uh, UCLA and Ramsey has had very little success throwing the ball. You Southern Cal is getting the ball right back to the offense very quickly. One out of seven for Ramsey for 22 yards. He's missed his last six passes in a row. Point of face punt is out of there. Joey Brunner comes up, fumbled it. He touched it. The Bruins pick it up. And it's going to be UCLA ball at the Southern California 48. He cannot run with a football in college, not with a fumble that hits the ground. Lewis Sharp, big tackle, a 250-pounder, came down the field and caught that on the fly. Well, he caught it after it bounced. If he caught it on the fly, then he could run. With no, it. no, he could. The ball touches the ground, can't oh, you? Not only kick ball. A kick ball cannot be it. advanced by the kicking team. That's a crazy rule, but it's in the rule book and has been. Even if the ball, if if he caught the ball, you may be right. If he caught the ball and Without then fumbled, the ground. if he caught the ball and it fumbled it. After he caught the ball, you could run it. But if the ball is caught in the air by the kicking team, it's dead ball right there, their protection. All right. Whatever. UCLA <laughs> with an opportunity from the Southern California 48. Last time the Trojans turned it over, they cashed it in. But there's some further distance away this time, and Kevin Nelson is brought down behind the line of scrimmage by August Curley, a junior out of Atlanta, Georgia. He brings down the Bruin runner back near the 47. Anthony Davis, A.D., one of the great tailbacks here in Southern California on the sidelines. I understand Mike Garrett's down there as well. That's a bit dangerous. Second down and close to 16. This pass hummed over the middle. The pass is complete. And it's close to a UCLA first down as Ricky Kaufman makes another catch. I'm going to tell you, that was an impressive throw by Ramsey. And watch Kaufman break inside 34 Turners trying to delay him at the line of scrimmage. Now Kaufman is inside. The ball is going to be right at the numbers, perfectly thrown in between the receivers. And we've got uh, just short of a first down. Miller bring the change in to check it with five minutes and five seconds to play in the first half. Change well, are on the field. From here it looks like it is the first half. It does, doesn't it? Yes. It is. Let's take a moment, five seconds right here, to allow our local stations to identify themselves. This is WXYZ TV, Channel 7, Detroit. We're back at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Mike Garrett. He was the first of the tailbacks to win the Heisman here at USC. First downs now. Trojans have 10. Bruins have three. Ball is just short of the 37. It goes to Kevin Nelson, the tailback. Tries to cut around the corner. Gets to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Good penetration again by the USC defensive unit, led by August Curley, an outside linebacker. UCLA on the sweep, as Keith mentioned, could never cut off the defense of Southern Cal. They just had the outside pursuit. There was nothing there for Nelson. Again, a reminder, one of the prime targets for Tom Ramsey in the passing game, Cormac Carney, has a slightly separated left shoulder and is not on the field. It is second down and ten. Comes the blitz. Ramsey runs away from it. And Ramsey has a first down for the UCLA Bruins at the Southern California 23. Marv Williams finally brought him down. Real impressive by Ramsey. The blitz is coming. Watch the linebackers. You can see him. They're doing a little crisscross. 
One is wide open. Nobody touched him. Ramsey scrambles out to the right. The UCLA coaches says that he, say that he's very good at this, and he turns what could have been a bad play into a first down. Picked up 14 yards. 345 to go in the first half. Bruins threatening now. USC leading 12 to 7. Inside it goes to Tua Sapali, a junior from Oxnard, trying to twist loose in the middle. Maybe a yard. He was in the grasp of George Achika, who made all conference last year. Real quickness and speed was unblocked. Got nothing on the carry. A look at the numbers on the two quarterbacks in the ball game so far. You can see the comparison that uh, neither having great success. Ramsey needs to get a hot hand for UCLA's chances. Second down and 10, Trojan 23. Oh, and just pass to the corner and touchdown for Ricky Kaufman. from Tom Ramsey and he burned Joey Browner. I was going to say Keith Browner is the safety man that fumbled the ball and then he let the receiver get behind him for the touchdown. We'll be right back at that beautiful pass. The UCLA Bruins will go for two. They want to make it. 16 or 15 to 12 instead of 14 to 12. Ramsey back to throw it, getting pressure, gets it off. It is Kaufman again. Kaufman scores the touchdown, catches the two-point pass play, and it's 15 to 12, UCLA. Here's the two-point conversion. As you're going to see, Southern Cal's got the blitz on again. That's exactly what they should do. Ramsey is forced out of the pocket, and then the Kaufman comes right across. He's been covered by Neil Hope, a freshman linebacker, and that was a real mismatch, allowing Kaufman to get open for the two-point conversion. Here's the touchdown. Watch the fake. They're moving over to the left and just turn. Ramsey turns and lays the ball up. Kaufman outruns Browner, number 47, in the corner. A perfectly thrown pass for the touchdown. Now let's watch the footwork and how Ramsey turns. Without even moving his feet, he just rifles the ball out. And again, it's open to Ricky Kaufman, number 36. And, and now let's watch Kaufman, number 36, run the pattern. See how... He gets open from Brown. Brown is watching him all the way, and it's just the speed. It looks like Kaufman has the burst. The ball is right on target, and it's a touchdown. And that fairly well documents UCLA's <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> from good all camera work, the guys. Angles. Beautiful very camera good. work. Very good. Three minutes to play in the first half. What a ball game. Keith. Typical UCLA Southern Cal game. 15 to 12, Bruins lead it. Norm Johnson will kick it off. Crutcher and Spencer are the beat people for Southern Cal. It's a high hanger. And it is Crutcher on the goal line. And Crutcher, a freshman out of Pasadena, is caught short of the 20. They'll mark it at about the 18 or 19. And at 2.55 to go, you see the numbers. Hoffman catching the touchdown pass from Ramsey and the two-point conversion. Drive being set up by the safety man Brown of fumbling the punt, trying to catch it, touched it. UCLA recovered it, went in and scored. Well, the Trojans have turned it over now, what, three times? Setting up both of the scores for UCLA, one 11 yards and one 47 yards. Well, just short of the 19. To Allen. Slips as he tried to cut it back against the grain. That familiar move that we've seen so many tailbacks make. Couldn't get his footing that time. The Gator Bowl now is uh, all set with North Carolina meeting 
Arkansas on December 28th. And you can see that eight and three. That means that SMU beat Arkansas today. And we'll see that on ABC on a Monday night. SMU beat Arkansas 32 to 18. Second down and about eight as Mason swings it out to Allen. Allen gets some help. Fumbles the ball. UCLA has it. Four turnovers for Southern California. And Gene Newborn is on the ball, a linebacker for the Bruins. I think Marcus Allen made a tragic mistake. He tried to run with the forward pass and dodge a defensive man before he had tucked it in. It's just a little flare pass. It should be relatively safe. Marcus is going to catch it. Let's see if he doesn't try to run with it before he tucks it away. He's got it out on his arm. He just drops the ball, Keith. Seems like to me, he just dropped the ball and UCLA recovered. And it's first down for the Bruins on the Southern California 22 with two minutes 11 seconds to go in the first half. Ramsey sets him at quarterback. Nelson and Safala behind him. He's going to put it up. He throws it short. And the pass is caught by Tim Whiteman. Keith, I can see why the UCLA coaches will say that it's a joy and a delight as we look at Marcus Allen. It's a joy and delight to coach Tom Ramsey quarterback. He doesn't have the natural ability, but he makes up for it because he's a take charge competitor. Gain of about three yards on that reception by Reitman. Frank Cephas now is in at fullback, replacing Bruno for UCLA. Double wide top of the picture. They give the ball to Cephas. Cephas is not totally healthy. He's pretty well banged up himself, but he runs the ball on that carry down to the 15 where Chip Banks brings him down. Time remaining there in the first half. UCLA has got to call their play so that they can adjust it in case Southern Cal decides to blitz. Time uh, obviously becoming a big factor here. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. It's coming up on a minute now to go in the first half. Third down and three for the first down. Harper Howell goes in motion. And Ramsey sets the throw. Gets it off in the corner. Kaufman is over there. This time Browner covers it. Th this is a great angle to watch. You can see exactly the battle going on. Brown is told to hug the inside shoulder. Man for man coverage. He gets as close to the inside shoulder the receiver as he can. He turns his head, jumps, and deflects the pass with his left hand at the last instant. Just a great camera work. That was almost a grab by Crumpton. 52 seconds to go. Fourth down. 32 yard field goal attempt by Norm Johnson. Norm hits it. He's got it. At 49 seconds to play, the score goes to 18 to 12 UCLA. And Norm Johnson now is 13 of 17 on the season. You have six penalties against Southern California, four turnovers, three of the turnovers resulting in scores for UCLA. Bruins lead 18 to 12, and Johnson knocks it all the way into the way back into the end zone, and Crutcher will put it down there. So you'll have 49 seconds to play in the first half in Southern California uh, at the own 20. The Washington Huskies have come up with a field goal to take a 3-0 lead over Washington State in the second quarter of play in Seattle. Be interesting on this ball game to see if Southern Cal will try to score from their own 20-yard line with 49 seconds left on the clock, or will they play it safe and go in six points behind? No, they're going for it. They're going to throw the ball. Spread them out. He's back. As time goes short, goes to Allen coming out of the backfield, and Marcus is across the 30 to the 31. That stops the clock as they move the chains and the Trojans in a hurry up offense. I'm hustling up. That took only two, seven seconds. I've seen the Trojans go the length of the field in a minute, two or three times, and win the football game. They're very capable. Over the middle it goes. Simmons can't hang on as he really took a wallop from Rogers. Don Rogers knocked him loose from the ball. 
telling you, Keith, that is some play by Rodgers. That's all he could do. He has to protect deep with the clock just uh, running down. You can see Simmons, Rodgers, number six, is going to come up from the safety man, make the point that he has to cover deep first, but he just puts the shoulder pads into the back, and the ball pops out. At the 31. Allen with the ball. Trying to get outside. He gets one block. And they turn him upside down at about the 37. Picked up about six yards on that carry. 24 seconds to play in the first half. And timeout called here. Allen now has 18 carries in the ball game for 105 yards. And that ties the NCAA record with 11 100 plus games in a single season. We'll have that for you at halftime. Highlights of Ohio State, Michigan, with the Buckeyes getting the win. Iowa, Michigan State. Iowa going to the Rose Bowl, apparently out of the Big Ten. Clemson in South Carolina, with Clemson going to the Orange Bowl to play Nebraska. And we'll check in with Vern Lundquist in Seattle to find out more about what's going on between the Huskies and the Cougars. If Washington State wins in Seattle today, then they go to the Rose Bowl, regardless of what happens here. However, if Washington beats Washington State in Seattle, UCLA can beat Southern California here, then the Bruins will go to the Rose Bowl. If USC comes back to defeat UCLA in the second half, and uh, Washington beats Washington State, then the Huskies will make a second successive trip to Pasadena. Keith, have we ever had such a year in college football with four or five teams right at the end of the season with a chance to win their conference championships in practically every conference but the Atlantic Coast? And it's been the year when being number one was the worst thing that could happen to you. That's a big upset there. And there's a score on the Arkansas game we gave you a while ago. As the SMU wins the Southwest Conference Championship, but they can't go any place. They're on probation. It is third down. Ball goes to Marcus Allen. Allen blows it up the middle. And the clock is running now with about 17 seconds to play. Stop. 19 seconds. They get it stopped. Now they'll throw their little quick pass, maybe, and stop the clock and take time and see what they can do for the 19 seconds left to go. Clock stopping as the first down was made and the change moved to the Trojan 48. Major throws it out to McClanahan, the fullback, and he doesn't get a lot. He fumbles the ball, as a matter of fact. And the UCLA Bruins come up with the ball. That's five turnovers now for Southern California. And seven ticks remain on the first half clock, and John Robinson is shaking his head. Gary Donahue and his coaches on the sideline. Well, these mistakes, Keith, by Southern Cal are very uncharacteristic of a John Robinson coach football team. Although they, they did make a lot of errors up in the Washington last week, something you don't explain, you can't explain as a coach, you just seem like you don't have the concentration that it takes. Look at Iowa. Iowa's laying it on Michigan State, so 36-7 in the fourth quarter. I would say that's got to be rather conclusive, wouldn't you? Yes. The people in Iowa have been such loyal fans. We talked about that last week. 20 years since they had a winning season, and the first winning season they've had, I believe, Keith, they're going to the Rose Bowl. Well, Wisconsin comes up with a winning season, and I understand they're in line for a bull bit as well. Kentucky upset Tennessee today. I don't know if it's an upset or not, but they beat them 21 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Schnellenberg has had quite a season for himself down in Miami as well. All right, it's first down. UCLA, the ball is at midfield on the seven seconds to play in the first half. He's leading by six. Rams is going to throw it. He's getting some pressure, but he gets away. And he gets his pass off, and it is incomplete, and time is gone. He's trying to find the safety valve. Kevin Nelson coming out of the backfield. And so the Bruins lead, and right now, Steve Davis with Coach Terry Donahue. Coach, you've got to be glad of what's going on in the football game, but you got to hope the USC quits, doesn't quit making mistakes. Well, I'll tell you what, our team's kind of played a little bit like that all year long. We've uh, forced some of these mistakes, and SC's a great football team, and they're very physical, and they're a little more physical than we are right now, but we're hanging in there, and sometimes when you're losing, you're really winning, you know, so it works like that. Coach, offensively, you've not been able to sustain a drive of any real importance right now. Does that bother you going in the second half? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> 
it's killing me, right? But uh, we haven't had many drives all season, quite frankly. We have a, a battered up offensive line, but we have fought hard, and our players are competing, and that's all I can ask of them. They're doing the best they can do. Poor Matt Carney, will he be back second? No, he separated his shoulder early in the oh. game, and uh, he's a great receiver, and unfortunately, he's out for the game. Okay, good. Thank, Thank you for stopping. NCAA football, UCLA USC will continue after this commercial message and a word about an upcoming show on ABC. And coach, you've got to be a little frustrated. You've made the mistakes and just uh, been, been able to get anything going. Well, we're, I think we're physically dominating the game. We're just beating ourselves. Well, we went at halftime and said, hey, we're not enjoying this the way we should. We should be more relaxed and just play the game. We are playing fine physically, and I think we're making some big plays, but we're making some just atrocious plays that are beating us. Has to shake your confidence a little no, bit. No, not like heck it does. We're coming back. I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> Keith. All right, Steve. I tell you, if there's a, I've ever seen a salesman as a coach, he's one. Here are the halftime numbers. You can see that Southern Cal has dominated, as John Robinson just said, controlled the offense by making 187 yards total offense, but look down below. Five turnovers to one for UCLA, and that has been the difference, and that's why UCLA is ahead. And we'll go to the floor of the Coliseum now for the kickoff to start the second half of play with the Bruins out in front, 18 to 12. Crutcher and Spencer are the two deep people for Southern Cal. Crutcher 49 and Spencer 23. And Norm Johnson will kick it off. I'm Keith Jackson along with Frank Royals and Steve Davis. We hope you're enjoying it. It's warm and sunny in California. I know it's cold and bitter in some sections of the middle of the country and on towards the northeast. Here's the kickoff sailing deep into the end zone. Crutcher's going to put it down there. And Southern California will have the football first down at its own 20. Last score we had out of Seattle was 7-3. Washington State leading Washington. Here are your offensive backs and receivers. Mazur, Spencer, Allen, Kamana, the flanker. He's the man that goes in motion a lot. The V back, as they call him. The big guys up front, Mosbar, Matthews, Slayton, Foster Moore, and Cornwell. First scrimmage play of the second half. Amana, man in motion. Hand off to the fullback, Spencer. On the quick pop, goes up across the 25, up to about the 27. UCLA's defensive bunch. Joe Gary is a 258-pound senior. Carl Morgan, the nose guard, 239-pound junior. Irv Eatman, 254-pound junior. The linebackers are Brad Clemens at 214. Ron Butler at 247 pounds. Blanchard Montgomery, 232 pounds. Ike Gordon at 221 pounds. Bruin coming off the field is Ron Butler, a sophomore out of Greenville, North Carolina. Gene Mewborn will go in to replace him. He was shaken up on the preceding play. It was Mewborn who recovered Marcus Allen's fumble in the first half. Spencer picked up on the carry, six yards, to make it second down and four, Southern California. Give the ball to Marcus Allen. Allen goes for the first down and gets the first down as he bangs it out to the 33. Allen now with 122 yards in the ball game. He has gone over 100 yards in all 11 games of this season and a whole bunch of them, 200. Well, that was a good surge by Roy Foster, the All-American right guard, number 64, on that last play, allowing Allen to make the first down. Go, Fred! Call it. Well, call it the 32. I guess it's probably closer to that hash mark. And the pitch goes to Allen again. He gets around the right corner, gets it up over 35, picked up about three or so. Marcus Allen needed 177 yards going into this game to assure him of breaking Ed Marinara's record of 209 per game, as you see the faces of the young men who play the secondary for the UCLA Bruins. And they played very well so far today. Sullivan had an interception. Rodgers had one particularly fine defensive play as he knocked the ball away from Jeff Simmons late in the first half. We're now in the third quarter. The ball is on the 35. Call it second down, a long seven. Mazur goes to throw. He looks at White, delivers for White. He overthrows him. 
Here's another bowl that you can say is locked now. The Liberty Bowl will match Ohio State and Navy on December 30. Ohio State and Navy. Navy with a game to play yet. They'll play Army on December 5, and you'll see it, as usual, here on ABC. And the Tangerine Bowl is also official with Missouri at 7-4 and four against Southern Mississippi, losing today to Louisville 8-1-1. It is third down on the incomplete pass. And the long seven. And Mazur getting plenty of time to throw. Goes over the middle with it. And the ball is down at the 40-yard line as Marcus Allen, swinging out of the backfield, is brought down by Turner. And so it's fourth down. He was short of the first down by almost three yards. And the USC will have to kick it. One thing that really surprised me on the second down pass, Mazur threw over through White open for the first down on what John Robinson says is a key pass. The sideline cut, Mesa missed him. Second punt in the ball game, fire back. Tom Sullivan, the deep man for UCLA. No pressure, good high hanger. Good kick, fair catch call by Sullivan. Back just inside the 20. So the Bruins will go to work. 40-yard punt tomorrow on This Week with David Brinkley. David's guest will be Secretary of State Alexander Haig. And it'll be the first time since President Reagan's foreign policy speech on Wednesday that the Secretary of State will be speaking to the issue. David Brinkley tomorrow morning, 11.30 a.m. over most of these ABC stations. I guess they'll call it officially the 19. And the Bruins go to work. As Ramsey rolls it out. And he's dropped. Well, there's a heck of a defensive play by number 52, Jack Del Rio. He just bullet his way through the blocker. Dennis Edwards is a 240-pound tackle for the Trojans. The cheek of the nose guard is a 255. Ussery at 245, the other tackle. And now Jack Del Rio who just made that fine play, 230-pound freshman. Byron Darby, 235. Chip Banks at 230 from Augusta, Georgia. And another Georgia boy, August Curry at 223. They are the linebackers. The ball is back at the 15. It is second down and about 14 and a half. And they go inside. The Bruno, the fullback, and he finds a hole as he comes across the 25 out to about the 27, short of his first down by two yards. Joey Browner, number 47, is a cornerback, 205-pound junior. Joe Turner, a 205-pound senior. Troy West, the rover, a 210-pound junior. Marv Williams, a 184-pound junior. The Bruin offensive unit reflected there, the wide receivers and the backfield. As the Bruins are now looking at third down and two from the 17. Rams is going to put it up. They're going to live with the pass in this ball game. He hits Kevin Nelson out across the 30 to the 32 for a first down. That was an excellent call by the UCLA staff. Southern Cal was in a blitzing nine-man line. If he could just get the back out of the backfield, all Ramsey had to do was lay it out. As you can see, there was a man in motion going across. Ramsey's going to roll to the right. Nelson is going to drop right out of the backfield in the flat. There he is open for the completion and the first down. <clears throat> Ten minutes and 55 seconds to play in the third quarter. Bruins are leading the Trojans 18 to 12. And again, Ramsey's going to put it up. Whip, slip, stumbles, fall. Short of the 30. So that's the third time he's been caught behind the line of scrimmage. There was pressure out there. Del Rio again was after him. And give credit to the Southern Cal defensive secondary, Keith. They had both the receivers to that side, Kaufman and Townsell covered. It'll be second down and 13, just short of the 30. Ramsey wants to go deep with it, gets it in the air down the sidelines, and the pass is incomplete. The pass intended for Ricky Kaufman, who's already caught a touchdown and a two-point conversion pass. Kaufman, number 36, has outstanding speed as you can see he's just running a takeoff pattern 
And that's Brown a covering man for man, right on his inside shoulder, hugging it, deflected the pass away, incomplete. It is third down for the Bruins. Put it up again. He looks for Townsell. He hits him over the middle. And the pass is good for another. UCLA first down. They'll mark him at about the 45. Uh, they'll give him more than that. They'll get him up to about the 47. Townsell, number 26, is going to run a turn-in pattern. The reason he's open, Southern Cal's linebackers crowd the line of scrimmage, and they have a tough time getting back into the curl area. And Troy West, number nine, finally makes the play after the first down. So the Bruins stay alive on the third down conversion to their own 47 yard line. They send Reitman in motion. Move him over to the left side. Big tight end has seen the ball only one time today. He's a big target and he can catch it. The tailback Nelson carries the ball. And now you've got a penalty flag thrown. Another one thrown. There's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct call coming up here against somebody. Personal foul or unsportsmanlike. One or the other. It's a personal foul against Southern California. Let's watch it again. Joey Brown, the number 47, after the play is over. Boom. That is illegal, unnecessary, uncalled for, and a penalty is in order. Referee was foul. right on top Defense. of it. First down. He was uh, picking on Willie Curran. Willie That's Curran. a little bit of a Mitch match because Browner's six foot three, two oh five. Willie is five nine, 175. Brown has had a tough day. He fumbled one punt, let the receiver Kaufman get him behind him for a touchdown. First down, Bruins. The ball is at the Southern California 35. Trojans are not poised today. It's Nelson sweeping to the right. Pretty good block. Gets Kevin around the corner. He gets some out of it, not a lot. He goes from the 35 for four down to the 31, and it was Bruno, the fullback. What in the world is that? Goodness, these students are in the spirit of a football game. They stay with it. What is it, Keith? Somebody's got his hand. Yeah, it's a plastic can. We've got UCLA choke or something like that. Not right now, they don't. No, they don't. They've got to get their defense in order. Second down and six. At the 31 of USC, Bruins moving the ball. Handed off inside to the fullback Bruno, a yard to the 30. UCLA sitting on a six point lead. Trying to find the safety valve. Kevin Nelson coming out of the backfield. And so the Bruins lead, and right now, Steve Davis with Coach Terry Donahue. Coach, you've got to be glad of what's going on in the football game, but you've got to hope the USC quits, doesn't quit making mistakes. Well, I'll tell you what, our team's kind of played a little bit like that all year long. We've uh, forced some of these mistakes, and SC's a great football team, and they're very physical, and they're a little more physical than we are right now, but we're hanging in there, and sometimes when you're losing, you're really winning, you know, so it works like that. Coach, offensively, you've not been able to sustain a drive of any real importance right now. Does that bother you going in the second half? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> It's killing me, right? But uh, we haven't had many drives all season, quite frankly. We have a, a battered up offensive line, but we have fought hard, and our players are competing, and that's all I can ask of them. They're doing the best they can do. Poor Matt Carney, will he be back second? No, he separated his shoulder early in the oh. game, and uh, he's a great receiver, and unfortunately, he's out for the game. Okay, good. Thank you, Thank you. for stopping. NCAA football, UCLA USC will continue after this commercial message and a word about an upcoming show on ABC. And coach, you've got to be a little frustrated. You've made the mistakes and just uh, been, been able to get anything going. Well, we're, I think we're physically dominating the game. We're just beating ourselves. We went in halftime and said, hey, we're not enjoying this the way we should. We should be more relaxed and just play the game. We are playing fine physically, and I think we're making some big plays, but we're making some just atrocious plays that are beating us. Has to shake your confidence a little no, bit. No, not like heck it does. We're coming back. I'll take your sacks up. Keith. All right, Steve. I'll tell you, if there's a, I've ever seen a salesman as a coach, he's won. Here are the halftime numbers. You can see that Southern Cal has dominated, as John Robinson just said, controlled the offense by making 187 87 yards total offense, but look down below. Five turnovers to one for UCLA, and that has been the difference, and that's why UCLA is ahead. 
And we'll go to the floor of the Coliseum now for the kickoff to start the second half of play with the Bruins out in front, 18 to 12. Crutcher and Spencer are the two deep people for Southern Cal. Crutcher 49 and Spencer 23. And Norm Johnson will kick it off. I'm Keith Jackson along with Frank Royals and Steve Davis. We hope you're enjoying it. It's warm and sunny in California. I know it's cold and bitter in some sections of the middle of the country and on towards the northeast. Here's the kickoff sailing deep into the end zone. Crutcher's going to put it down there. And Southern California will have the football first down at its own 20. Last score we had out of Seattle was 7-3. Washington State leading Washington. Here are your offensive backs and receivers. Mazur, Spencer, Allen, Kamana, the flanker. He's the man that goes in motion a lot. The V back, as they call him. The big guys up front, Mosbar, Matthews, Slayton, Foster Moore, and Cornwell. First scrimmage play of the second half. And off to the fullback Spencer. On a quick pop goes up across the 25 up to about the 27. UCLA's defensive bunch. Joe Gary is a 258-pound senior. Carl Morgan, the nose guard, 239-pound junior. Irv Eatman, 254-pound junior. The linebackers are Brad Plemons at 214. Ron Butler at 247 pounds. Blanchard Montgomery, 232 pounds. Ike Gordon at 221 pounds. Bruin coming off the field is Ron Butler, a sophomore out of Greenville, North Carolina. Gene Mewborn will go in to replace him. He was shaken up on the preceding play. It was Mewborn who recovered Marcus Allen's fumble in the first half. Spencer picked up on the carry, six yards to make it second down and four, Southern California. Give the ball to Marcus Allen. Allen goes to the first down and gets the first down as he bangs it out to the 33. Allen now with 122 yards in the ball game. He has gone over 100 yards in all 11 games of this season and a whole bunch of them, 200. Well, that was a good surge by Roy Foster, the All-American right guard, number 64, on that last play, allowing Allen to make the first down. Go, Fred! Call it... Well, call it the 32. I guess it's probably closer to that hash mark. And the pitch goes to Allen again. He gets around the right corner, gets it up to the 35, picked up about three or so. Marcus Allen needed 177 yards going into this game to assure him of breaking Ed Marinaro's record of 209 per game, as you see the faces of the young men who play the secondary for the UCLA Bruins. And they played very well so far today. Sullivan had an interception. Rodgers had one particularly fine defensive play as he knocked the ball away from Jeff Simmons late in the first half. We're now in the third quarter. The ball is on the 35. Call it second down, how long? Seven. Mazur goes to throw. He looks at White, delivers for White. He overthrows him. Here's another bowl that you can say is locked now. The Liberty Bowl will match Ohio State and Navy on December 30. Ohio State and Navy. Navy with a game to play yet. They'll play Army on December 5, and you'll see it, as usual, here on ABC. And the Tangerine Bowl is also official with Missouri at 7-4 and four against Southern Mississippi, losing today to Louisville 8-1-1. It is third down on the incomplete pass. And the long seven. And Mazur getting plenty of time to throw. Goes over the middle with it. And the ball is down at the 40-yard line as Marcus Allen, swinging out of the backfield, is brought down by Turner. And so it's fourth down. He was short of the first down by almost three yards. And USC will have to kick it. One thing that really surprised me on the second down pass, Mazur threw over through White open for the first down on what John Robinson says is a key pass. The sideline cut, Mesa missed it. Second punt in the ball game, prior back. Tom Sullivan, the deep man for UCLA. No pressure, good high hanger. Good kick, fair catch call by Sullivan. Back 
just inside the 20. So the Bruins will go to work. 40 yard punt tomorrow on This Week with David Brinkley. David's guest will be Secretary of State Alexander Haig. And it'll be the first time since President Reagan's foreign policy speech on Wednesday that the Secretary of State will be speaking to the issue. David Brinkley tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. over most of these ABC stations. Well, I guess they'll call it officially the 19. And the Bruins go to work. As Ramsey rolls it out. And he is dropped. Boy, there's a heck of a defensive play by number 52, Jack Del Rio. He just bullied his way through the blocker. Dennis Edwards is a 240-pound tackle for the Trojans. The cheek of the nose guard is a 255. Ussery at 245, the other tackle. And now Jack Del Rio who just made that fine play, 230-pound freshman. Byron Darby, 235. Chip Banks at 230 from Augusta, Georgia. And another Georgia boy, August Curry at 223. They are the linebackers. The ball is back at the 15. It is second down and about 14 and a half. And they go inside. The Bruno on the fullback, and he finds a hole as he comes across the 25 out to about the 27, short of his first down by two yards. Joey Browner, number 47, is a cornerback, 205-pound junior. Joe Turner, a 205-pound senior. Troy West, the rover, a 210-pound junior. Marv Williams, 184-pound junior. The Bruin offensive unit reflected there, the wide receivers and the backfield. As the Bruins are now looking at third down and two from the 17. Ramsey's going to put it up. They're going to live with a pass in this ball game. He hits Kevin Nelson out across the 30 to the 32 for a first down. That was an excellent call by the UCLA staff. Southern Cal was in a blitzing nine-man line. If he could just get the back out of the backfield, all Ramsey had to do was lay it out. As you can see, there was a man in motion going across. Ramsey's going to roll to the right. Nelson is going to drop right out of the backfield in the flat. There he is open for the completion and the first down. <clears throat> Ten minutes and 55 seconds to play in the third quarter. Bruins are leading the Trojans 18 to 12. And again, Ramsey's going to put it up. Whoops, slips, stumbles, falls. Short of the 30. So that's the third time he's been caught behind the line of scrimmage. There was pressure out there. Del Rio again was after him. And give credit to the Southern Cal defensive secondary, Keith. They had both receivers to that side, Kaufman and Townsell covered. It'll be second down and 13, just short of the 30. Ramsey wants to go deep with it, gets it in the air down the sidelines, and the pass is incomplete. The pass intended for Ricky Kaufman, who's already caught a touchdown and a two-point conversion pass. Kaufman, number 36, has outstanding speed as you can see he's just running a takeoff pattern and that's Brown a covering man for man right on his inside shoulder hugging it deflected the pass away incomplete it is third down for the Bruins Put it up again. He looks for Townsell. He hits it over the middle. And the pass is good for another. UCLA first down. They'll mark him at about the 45. Going to give him more than that. They'll get him up to about the 47. Townsell, number 26, is going to run a turn-in pattern. The reason he's open, Southern Cal's linebackers crowd the line of scrimmage, and they have a tough time getting back into the curl area. And Troy West, number nine, finally makes the play after the first down. Oh, the Bruins stay alive on the third down conversion to their own 47-yard line. They send Reitman in motion. Move him over to the left side. Big tight end has seen the ball only one time today. He's a big target, and he can catch it. The tailback, Nelson, carries the ball. And now you've got a penalty flag thrown. Another one thrown. There's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct call coming up here against somebody. Personal foul or unsportsmanlike, one or the other.
It's a personal foul against Southern California. Let's watch it again. Joey Brown, a number 47, after the play is over. Boom. That is illegal, unnecessary, uncalled for, and a penalty is in order. Referee was right on top of it. First down. He was uh, picking on Willie Curry. Willie That's Curry. a little bit of a mismatch because Brown is six foot three, two oh five. Willie is five nine, 175. Brown has had a tough day. Fumble one punt, let the receiver Kaufman get him behind him for a touchdown. <laughs> First down, Bruins. The ball is at the Southern California 35. Trojans are not poised today. It's Nelson sweeping to the right. Pretty good block. Gets Kevin around the corner. He gets some out of it. Not a lot. He goes from the 35 for four down to the 31. And it was Bruno. The fullback. What in the world is that? Goodness. These students are in the spirit of a football game. They stay with it. What is it, Keith? Somebody's got his hand on it. Yeah, it's a plastic can. Yep. We've got UCLA choke or something like that. Not right now, they don't. No, they don't. They better <laughs> get their defense in order. Second down and six at the 31 of USC. Bruins moving the ball. Handed off inside to the fullback, Bruno. A yard to the 30. UCLA sitting on a six-point lead. This is the most impressive drive that uh, UCLA has had. The other scores came after turnovers from Southern Cal. Helped them, gave them field position. This one, so far, has been on their own. Bruins beat them last year, too, remember, 20 to 17. And uh, they set on uh, Marcus Allen a year ago. He only gained 72 yards against them. He's well over 100 today, but UCLA is leading. And Ramsey. Using the pass as a prime weapon. Goes with it again. Hits JoJo. Townsell, he gets away. And he's out of bounds at about the 15, and he almost went for six. He got away from Turner, and West came across to save it. One thing that uh, happens if you give a good receiver enough room to catch the ball and get started, boy, it's tough to get him down because normally he gets moves and turning. He's got good moves and turning number 34. Makes the mistake of giving too much of a cushion this close to the goal line. Townsend has good speed. Now, it's obvious that the defensive back wants to give him a little cushion, but not this much. He doesn't have to defend deep. Townsend makes a good move and extra yardage. First down, UCLA Trojan 15. Kevin Nelson trying to get to the outside. He does get to the outside and get something out of it. His foot speed enabling him to outrun pursuing Trojan lineman for three yards. Tom Ramsey's got to be enjoying things the way they're going right now, too, because in two previous... Uh, moments against Southern California he has just simply not played very well well last year it was uh, Jay Schrader who came on to win the ball game then he went off to a baseball career and now Ramsey is guiding the Bruins you judge a quarterback by the success of the team not by his own individual statistics although those are coming up seven for 50 out of 15 second down and seven ball is near the 12 Ramsey again going to the pass Looked left, looks right, throws right, incomplete. Nelson had come out of the backfield, had gone to the corner. He was well covered. I think the man he really wanted to go to was Townsell, but Jojo was covered like a blanket. One thing, you're right, Keith, one thing that uh, Ramsey does so well, we mentioned we should make the point again because it's a key thing as we look at Terry Donahue, his overall record just over 70%. He was Ramsey. chosen for the job by the late J.D. Morgan. He was a very young man. I think Terry was just 32, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. he got the position. But Ramsey's scrambling is really important in a game like this. They get third down and seven. The 13th play in this possession by the UCLA Bruins. They hand the ball off inside to Terry Moorhead, who had come in at the tailback position. He gets it back into the center of the field in front of the uprights on fourth down, and I would suggest to you we'll see Norm Johnson. Norm Johnson is the leading percentage field goal kicker in UCLA history. All he wanted to do on that little uh, cut back inside, I think, was to get it back in front. A field goal, I think the reason for that, the field goal gives UCLA a nine-point lead where a touchdown and a conversion for two points would not uh, bring UCLA, uh, Southern Cal up to their score. It's a 27-yard attempt. And it is good. And with seven minutes and 19 seconds to play in the third quarter, 
the UCLA Bruins have built their lead to 21 to 12. There's your score, 21-12, as the UCLA Bruins give us an impressive march in this third quarter. 14 plays and consume five minutes and 15 seconds of the quarter, and Norm Johnson kicking the field goal, and he just hammers the kickoff way back in the end zone, and Freddie Crutcher will leave it there, and it'll be USC's ball first down at the 20. Again, to restate the bowl situation as far as the Rose Bowl is concerned, if UCLA wins here, and uh, Washington wins in Seattle over Washington State. Then the Bruins are going to go to Pasadena. And they're going to play Iowa. Iowa beating Michigan State today while Ohio State beat Michigan. And the Hawkeyes are coming back to Pasadena. Iowa, I think Iowa and Washington State probably have to be called the two surprise teams of the 1981 season. Well, Jim Walden, the Washington State coach, has done a magnificent job for your old alma mater. 10-7 up there right now with Washington leading. Marcus Allen has the football. The Trojans are down by nine. The UCLA defense has been dancing around. It's a defense is structured by a young man who has his doctorate named Jed Hughes, and he is a clever fellow. Keith, I talked to him last night about 10 o'clock, and I, he was ready to play then. He told me his team was playing the best they'd played all year, the defensive unit. The turnovers had been part of their strategy, and they expected to get some today, and they have five. So there you see the another record that could come to Marcus Allen before this day is done. Mazur back to throw it. He has a man. He had Malcolm Moore wide open. He waited too long. Moore was wide open. But uh, Mazur was not able to get the ball to him in time. Sullivan came up to spoil the play. Keith, I think you mentioned the point earlier that Mazur is tipping off and letting UCLA read his mail by looking at the receiver all the way. And uh, Sullivan got a good jump on the ball and came close to intercepting. If he had delivered the ball when Moore had made his turn, goodness knows how long he could have run. But he got third down and about seven. Mazur has it knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Fred Cornwell had dropped off to the outside out here, and he was wide open, but when the pass was thrown, it was deflected by big Herb Eatman. And uh, I've, I've never seen a defensive lineman have a better day than Eatman did last year at Columbus, Ohio. He dominated the game, and he gave uh, Art Schleister a hard time trying to throw any forward pass. Six foot six. Fire now will have to punt it for the Trojans, and Sullivan is back for the Bruins. UCLA leading 21 to 12. They had them all up there. Now they dropped some off, and there is no pressure. As the kick is away, and it's a good one. Sullivan has to call a fair catch. UCLA Bruins will have the football first down at their own 32 after a 45-yard punt. Bruins lead by nine. UCLA Bruins will get the football. You see, over the shoulder of the song leader. The Goodyear event Columbia with Captain Corky Ballinger, Eric Chino, and cameraman Archie Griffin's up there with him along with the video technician Hugo DeLonardo. Here comes UCLA, sitting on a nine-point lead as Ramsey turns and gives the ball to Kevin Nelson. The tailback, he's got a yard. Going back into the closing moments of the first half, the Southern California Trojans' last five possessions have resulted in fumble, fumble, which produced a touchdown, fumble, which produced a field goal, and here in the second half, punt and a punt. UCLA defense has made up their mind. They're going to force Mazer to throw the football, and John Robinson has not reacted in that way. Second down and nine from the 33. Ramsey getting outside, gets his pass off. The pass is complete, and it goes to Willie Curran, number 18, just short of the 40. That's short of a first down as well. And next Friday, we'll have the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the Hurricanes of Miami out of the Orange Bowl at 3 Eastern. Then on Saturday, a doubleheader. Pitt undefeated against Old Coke, Penn State at Pittsburgh. And then in Birmingham, Alabama and Auburn. All begins at 12 Eastern time on Saturday. Third down and three. They go to the tailback, Kevin Nelson, that little juke. He made it, Pete. Got himself a little crease. He sure did. He did. Good call 
Very good play selection. All right, we can tell you now about three other bowls. The Peach Bowl will have West Virginia and the Florida Florida State winner on December 31. The Independence Bowl will have Texas A&M and Oklahoma State. That's down in Louisiana. And the Sun Bowl will have Oklahoma and Houston on December 26 in El Paso. First down for the Bruins as Ramsey gets it off just before he is clobbered. It is intercepted by Chip Banks, linebacker for Southern California. So the Trojans come up with a football. First down at the UCLA 48. How many times has Chip Banks made a key critical play? This was another one of the sensational plays. Banks, number 51, is going to be dropping back in the zone. Rams is going to try to drill the ball between him a little bit over his head. Watch Banks go up. Boy, that's an athlete for you. Six foot four, 230 pounds, catches the ball, returns it short yardage, and now Southern Cal is threatening. That is the second UCLA turnover in the ball game. The first time Rams has been intercepted, but I would suggest to you, Frank, having watched this thing now for the better part of uh, three quarters, USC better stick it in the end zone and get some points in this possession. Good observation. From the 48, Mazur on first down will put it up. He goes deep. He's throwing for Simmons. Simmons is down the sidelines, and the pass is incomplete, covering him step for step. Is Mike Durden, who has had a fine ball game for the UCLA Bruins. You're going to watch Simmons, a fly pattern. First down is a good time to go deep. Jeff Simmons is their best deep receiver. You can see that Curry, is, number 29, is right on his inside shoulder. You couldn't be in better position for a defensive back. Just an excellent play on a tough, tough, usually tough play. Number 53, again, shaken up. Joe Gary, the second time that Joe has come out of the ball game, but he's working up there in the trenches. And, boy, I tell you, when these two teams get together, there's a lot of thunder and lightning along the trenches. They're big people. And they are quick people. Mike Barbie has gone in now to play defensive tackle for UCLA on second down and 10 from the 48. They go to Marcus. No, it is, yes, it is Marcus Allen. That time, Major fooled me as he turned his back. I couldn't see whether Allen had it or not. And Marcus gets it down to about the 45 for three yards. Ron Butler, inside linebacker, brought him down. We should make the point once again that UCLA is trying to force Southern Cal to throw the ball. They have been lining up on running down to an eight-man front. Now they're in their dime defense. Six defensive backs since it's a passing down third and seven. Simmons will come to the left. Timmy White will go to the right for USC. Blitz. And Mazur, looking at the blitz, dumps it off short with bouncing into the hands of Marcus Allen. So, the UCLA defense just lays their ears back and comes storming in. You can see that UC UCLA was going to blitz and try to put Doug West, number 41, to be picked up by Moore, number 73. And Just David an Pryor play. is into the ball game to punt now with time beginning to wind down in the third quarter. Tom Sullivan back for the Bruins. The Bruins are leading 21 to 12. No pressure. That's a good punt by Pryor. Looks like it'll go to the end zone. Does. So Pryor knocks it into the end zone. 45-yard punt. UCLA gets the ball back on the city of Los Angeles. Downtown. Coliseum. This is not far from downtown. UCLA's ball, first down and 10 from their own 20. And they pitch a ball to the tailback, Kevin Nelson. Yes, yes. And he is dropped behind the line of scrimmage on the 17. Chip Banks again the play. Yes, Chip Banks is all of conference, really an outstanding football play. And uh, what's a linebacker supposed to do? You're going to see a perfect classic illustration of forcing. He saw a gap. He comes across the backfield. He's not going to be blocked. Just keeps his feet working and finally throws Nelson to the ground for a loss. Just an outstanding play. Second down. About 12 and a half. Nelson again goes up the middle this time and finds some daylight. Gets it up near the 24. Here's what it looks like down in the trenches. A cheek of number 78 is all conference. Last year, one of the very fine football players, but he's trying to shoot the gap. And you can see the lineman 
Adi, the son of number 51, and the left guard, Jolly, blew him right out of there. Odie's another fellow who came off a uh, leg injury to become an outstanding player. Third down and seven. Ramsey on a roll. Gets it off. Passes. Good. And Townsell steps out of bounds up at the 35. It is a UCLA first down, a pickup of 12. When you watch the work one-on-one, -on -one, watch how much a cushion Turner number 34 gives Townsell. He's too far inside in the first place. Once that, uh, of course, uh, Turner slips a little bit, Townsell separates himself from the defensive back, makes an easy throw, completion, and first down. Three minutes and five seconds to play in the third quarter. 21-12 UCLA. Ball goes to Nelson. And Nelson is dropped at about the 39. Looking at scores now of games completed today. Pitt number one in the nation. 35-0 over the Temple Owls. Headed for the Sugar Bowl against Georgia. Clemson beats South Carolina 29-13. Headed for the Orange Bowl against Nebraska, which beat Oklahoma today decisively 37-14. Ohio State beat Michigan 14-9. It was in Ann Arbor. Second down, six. Tailback, Kevin Nelson getting a lot of work here in the third quarter. As they keep calling his number, he wedges it out to about the 42. Texas beat Baylor today, 34-12. Arkansas was a loser to SMU. And while SMU was able to win the conference, can't go anywhere. Southern Mississippi upset by Louisville, and there's the Arkansas SMU score, 32-18 with Arkansas going to the Gator Bowl. And we'll play North Carolina, a game you'll see here on ABC. And Penn State came from behind to beat Notre Dame 24-21 at State College. It's third down, three. Rams has got nobody to throw to defense receivers ran into each other and destroyed the pattern. I think it was Curran and Townsville just bumped into each other and they both fell and uh, Ramsey had nothing to do with the ball but get out of bounds. Well, it'll be fourth down for the Bruins and Buenafe will come in to do the punting. Joey Browner is usually the man that goes deep for Southern California on the punts and he's back there. Still can't tell you how many folks are here. They're still counting. It's full. It's like got to be around 90,000. Pretty good punt. Browner backs up on a fair catch call and makes the reception back around the 17. It was a 43-yard punt. As I mentioned earlier, on the play, the two wide receivers of uh, UCLA bumped into each other. 36, Kaufman, and 26, Townsell, and Ramsey had nothing to do with but eat the ball. A little break mix-up in the routes by the receivers. Iowa goes to the Rose Bowl as a result of Ohio State beating Michigan and the Hawkeyes uh, beating Michigan State 36-7. And Hayden, you all have a time tonight. My golly, you've earned it. Here's the pitch out to Marcus Allen. Gets around the corner. And Allen's got the better part of six, maybe seven yards as he reaches the 24 before the legs are taken from under him by Jimmy Turner. Indiana beating Purdue 20 to 17. And I mentioned earlier that Jim Young, the football coach at Purdue, says he's going to quit. Want to stay on, however, I guess, as uh, associate athletic, associate director. athletic yes. director. Jim Young's a fine gentleman. He's be a big loss to the coaching profession. 24-yard line, second down, and three for the Trojans. Kamana is in motion. They give it off to the fullback, and Spencer is across the 30 to the 32, and that'll be a Trojan first down. Two excellent play, plays by Southern Cal, a sweep by Allen, quick hit up by Spencer up the middle, and a first down. They needed that very desperately. Oklahoma State's got a bowl bid now as a result of a 27-7 win today. Texas A&M's going to a bowl. They won by 30 over the Horned Frogs. And it's first down USC. Here's the pitch to Marcus Allen. He's going a student body right again, and he's got a little more daylight. Got about eight yards on that carry going from the 32 to the 40. 
West Virginia going to the Peach Bowl losing today to Syracuse by three. Boston College closed with a win over Rutgers. Yale upset last week by Princeton beats Harvard 28 to nothing. Johnny Anderson gets a win for the Brown Bears over Columbia while Princeton won again today. 23. Princeton's got some passive attack. Only their quarterback had a sensational year. Second down, two yards to go. And Mazur, on second and short, goes over the middle with it. He's got it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. When it's going bad, it's going bad. You had Timmy White breaking free deep. You have Jeff Simmons coming across. Both of them were open. Nobody caught it. I'm not sure exactly what happened. It looked like that Simmons, let's watch it again and see if we can determine. Simmons is the short man, fake deep, throws the ball right over the middle. And, of course, this is where Simmons got searched coming right in there. But it's overthrown, Keith, just too yeah. Too high for Simmons, number 29. So it's third and two. Go to Allen. And Marcus has the first down. Marcus Allen runs for the first down. They'll put it just over the 45. 24 seconds to play in the third quarter. Well, Mississippi State's going to the Hall of Fame Bowl to play somebody, I think. At least I heard that. I don't know if they've announced it. You would certainly think they'd go somewhere. Brigham Young. There's the Stanford jumping on Cal in the big game up in the Bay Area. And you see Washington was leading Washington State when last we heard at 10 to 7. Here's a pitch to Allen on first down. Marcus is caught behind the line of scrimmage by Ike Gordon, the outside linebacker, and dragged down. And the third quarter is over. We'll have the fourth quarter for you after this commercial message and a word. Inside the house watching. We see hope they're enjoying it. And here we go with the final 15 minutes of the ball game with UCLA on top. 21-7 Marcus Allen breaking out of the pack, going for another Southern California first down. Down to the 42-yard line of UCLA. And that was a critical first down, second and 10. UCLA was expecting a pass, and the lateral movement by this young man, Marcus Allen, was sensational on that last play. The hole was not there. He just jumped to the side, broke into the secondary, and made the first down. 21 to 12, UCLA. He needs 13 more yards to set a new record. Beat the record of Ed Marinaro at 209 per game. An all-time record. And Mazur is on the mark to Simmons for another first down at the UCLA 25. Here's Carl Morgan, the nose guard for the Bruins. If you don't think it's rough in the line of scrimmage, two big physical football teams, number 40 Morgan is a very fine football player, one of the best. Boom, there's one hit right there by 23 Spencer, then hello again. Oh, I tell you, that's purest activity in the line. Well, Carl was up to it, though, wasn't he? Yes, he was. From the 26, first down Trojans. It goes to Allen. Marcus Allen. Sensational. Sensational. Down to the 13. Big block, Roy Foster, 64. Keith, that man right there is a coach in a half. He is some kind of football coach. Watch Allen. Watch the cut he makes. Look at the blocking. 64 of Foster. Foster number 64 is right in front of him. Allen has a little crack and he goes right through, taking it down to the 13-yard line. Allen now has 177 yards. He'll finish the season at better than 209 per game. That's a new record. It's an awesome record. Allen into the middle. Not much there this time as he moved it from the 13 to about the 10. Carl Morgan got a piece of the action inside. There's John Robinson thinking about his strategy, but it's been so far excellent. He's run the football when he needed to. He had one pass completion to Simmons. Other than that, it's just been a methodic, systematic drive. Look at that statistic. Sensational Marcus Allen. Second down from the 10. Allen's got it again. Cuts it back into the middle. Inside the five he goes to the four. I'll tell you, Tim Sullivan had him for a loss in the backfield on the safety blitz. Let's watch it over to the left. You can see that Allen's going to cut back right in there. 
Butler. 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 The quarterback, Mazur, came back, and he and Allen ran together. And there's a loss of a yard. Keith, this is a tough decision for John Robinson to make. He needs two scores, a field goal. Let's watch the mix-up. The quarterback and uh, Ro uh, what happened, Allen slipped down, Keith. That's what happened. He never got back on the path of the play that was called. Going for the field goal. They need two scores. Might as well get one right here. Tough break. Allen slipping down. Well, Jordan is hit today from 38 and 44. This will be 22 yards. I think that's the best call. Penalty. Lay. Knock him up five. Helps the angle. Well, they're pretty much in front. Oh, that was an impressive drive until Allen slipped on third and two. Play calling was sensational. Delay of game on the offense. Fourth down. This possession started back on Southern California's 18. 12 plays to this point. Makes it a 27 yard field goal. They refused the penalty. They refused it. Back in. <laughs> playing, playing games with a kicker. 22 yarder. Just thinking of UCLA's park. It's good. 11 minutes and 57, 56 seconds to play in the ball game, and the score now: UCLA 21, USC 11:56 to play in the ball game. Now they're going to depend upon their defense, Southern Cal, that is, stopping and getting the ball back quickly for the Trojans. Zell's going to have a little room. Gets it across the 20 out to the 22. Brought down by Neil Hope. So here comes UCLA now. They need some time of possession and uh, get within striking range. That knee with the ice on it is Marcus Allen. He's carried the ball this season 395 times. You've got to figure he's going to reach 400 before he's done. And the... Kevin Nelson, the tailback for the Bruins, gets around the right side and gets up to the 30. He picked up the better part of eight yards, maybe nine. He now has 67 yards of the ball game on 20 carries. Isn't that unbelievable? And the great that John Robinson has said has shown up already that he gets stronger as the game goes along. The 35th to the 40th carry might be his best for the ball game. 32 carries so far. Second down and one for the Bruins. It's the fullback inside, close to the first down. That's Sapali, 221 pounder, playing at the fullback position for UCLA. Terry Donahue now trying to engineer his troops down the field. 21 15, Bruins lead. A field goal would uh, restore their. Their nine point advantage. All right, for a moment, let's go to Seattle. Vern Lundquist. All right, Vern, we're back here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, and the UCLA Bruins have got a first down on the measurement. First down, call it the 32. The Bruins side of the stadium is rattling and rocking now as the fans come up, and the gain on the carry over the left side is to about the 35. UCLA fans are trying to fire up the Bruins and help them drive the ball down the field for another score. And believe me, it helps, Keith. Nelson got seven, second, uh, three, rather, second down. Eight, seven. Ramsey will put it up on second down. He's in trouble. Got him at the 34. It'll be third down and still about seven. It's Keith Browner. 
the sophomore member of the Browner family brings him down Joey is a junior Keith Southern Cal football team is so big and so physical they've got so much depth it has to be a factor in the fourth quarter big play right here for the Bruins third yes. down and seven going to the shot. shotgun yep He puts Tom Sell in motion. He's got Zapali wide open over the middle. The penalty flag is down as the Trojans blitz and get Ramsey, but hold on to the penalty. It was it. Uh, Curran was the man out there. Going deep. Oh, he was gone free, but let's see about the penalty. Holding and it's against UCLA. Woo. They will refuse it. Get the ball back for Southern Cal, the Trojans. Let's see if we can see the blitz is coming on. Watch Banks, number 51. He's going right up the middle. They picked him up, but the rush from the outside, which was Keith Browner coming from the outside, and he forces him or flushes him out of the pocket, and the other Trojans make the play. Oh, that was an ideal time to blitz. Kevin Buenafe is in the punt. Joey Browner goes back for Southern California with nine minutes and four seconds to play in the game. 21-15, UCLA by six. Bad kick. Low spinner if it takes the right kind of a bounce. He'll have a little room for Browner. Didn't take a very good bounce. And Browner is buried. Back at the 27 after a 41-yard punt. 89,432 what? Eight minutes and 47 seconds to play in the ball game. UCLA leading by six points. Southern California with the ball first down at their own 27. John Mazur, the quarterback, gives it for Marcus Allen. Allen gets a couple. Carl Morgan leading the defensive charge with Ike Gordon for the Bruins. What we're seeing with the Bruin defense, they've made up their mind they're going to stop Marcus Allen, if at all possible, and force Mazur to throw the ball. They had the corner blitz and the strong safety blitz on the first down play. Just over the 29, second down and eight. He could double cover the receivers. Allen's got it. He's across the 35. Right now, let's go to New York and join Jim Lampley for an update. Seven minutes and seven seconds. With 194 yards in this ball game on 34 carries. So they've got a war going in Seattle as well. Third down and two. They give it to Allen. And Allen lunges forward. He's close. He makes it. He, they gave him a good spot. Every bit, every bit of it. Tomorrow on this week with David Brinkley, David's guest will be Secretary of State Alexander Haig. It'll be the first time since the President's foreign policy speech on Wednesday that the State Secretary will be speaking to the issues. We'll enjoy it tomorrow with David Brinkley. This week with David Brinkley, tomorrow morning, 11.30 Eastern Time. 7.22, the play in the game. Let's look for a pass on first down. Ball is on the Southern Cal, 38. Give it to the fullback Spencer. He breaks it big. He goes down at the UCLA 45. One guy they have pretty well controlled inside that line defensively is Big Irv Eatman. He hasn't made much noise today, has he? No, Irv Eatman missed the tackle for about a two yard gain, but Spencer, the fullback, makes a tremendous run for the first down. Quick play right up the middle. Good blocking by Foster. Only, uh, Spencer now has. 60 yards to his plus side today. First down, Trojans. Ball is near the UCLA 44, and Marcus Allen with the ball coming down the right side. Tumbles out of bounds at the Bruin 36. If Washington and Washington State wind up with a 10-10 tie, and USC can win this ball game, then the Trojans literally are in a position where they to go to the Rose Bowl. Keith, you've got to set the stage. Southern UCLA is trying to stop the run. They can't do it. They've got everybody up close to the line. Marcus Allen's now got 204 yards in the game. 11 times this year, he's over 200. Yeah!
Spencer takes a wallop as he goes through trying for the first down. He holds on to the ball and he gets the first down. Morgan and Butler just belted it. But the big kid from Berkeley gets the first down. Well, he's been a big help to this Southern Cal team. We're talking about Spencer, the fullback. As we look at Marcus Allen, 36 rushes. That's his average for the season in each game. First down, Trojans. The ball is at the 33 of UCLA. Bruins are leading by six. Mason sets up to throw it. He goes for Simmons over the middle and missed him. He again waited too long. He had Simmons earlier, and he just simply did deliver the ball soon enough. When you wait as long as, as Keith just mentioned, you give the linebackers a chance to get depth. Look how wide open Simmons is. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Finally, when it gets there, the linebackers or make force the ball to be thrown too high. Six minutes and 16 seconds to play in the game. Jimmy White, probably the fastest receiver, is in the ball game. Number six. Washington is now going ahead of Washington State, 17 to 7. Right here. Second down and 10. Allen, fumble! You see Allen! the line of scrimmage. Watch Allen be charging into the line and somehow he just drops the ball. It hits his chest and that's his third fumble of the day. The ball bounces right into the secondary where UCLA recovers. And it's the sixth turnover for the Trojans. And the Bruins are in business at their own 32. They may have dodged a bullet there. 6-12 to play in the game. The tailback Kevin Nelson wrapping his arms around the ball. Gets it out near the 34. UCLA just wants to punch out a first down if it possibly can. Line up slow in the huddle, Keith. Take the full 25 seconds or close to it as they possibly can between plays. Use the clock to your advantage. Taking their time. Second down and eight. Nelson. Tough to make any yards against the Southern Cal defense. They don't expect to pass, and they're blitzing, bringing their cornerbacks up, forcing very quickly into the backfield of UCLA. Plenty of time left. I've seen Southern Cal march the length of the field in less than two minutes on three occasions in this stadium. So don't go away. Third down for the Bruins and eight yards. Here comes the blitz. Ramsey has good protection. Gets it off. Intercepted by West. And Ramsey throwing the ball in a crowd. Troy West picked it off. As a matter of fact, he threw it right to West. Oh, what a turnover that is. Well, Ramsey has had trouble on his judgment. He wants to force the ball. He's had 13 interceptions coming into this ball game. But you'll see he throws the ball right to number nine, Troy West. You can see West number nine just jumps up, cradles the ball in, and now Southern Cal is back in business. Second interception of the day on Ramsey. Third turnover for the Bruins. Southern California's ball first down at the UCLA 39. And 4.53 to play. The fullback. Spencer, look at the move he made. <laughs> they had him at the line of scrimmage, and he jumps in at about the 35. Right now, here's Jim Lampley. With the score tied at 10-10, it still appeared there was a chance for Southern Cal to go to the Rose Bowl, but in the drive following the water is inside of the 35. It goes to Marcus Allen. Allen going to the outside. He's got a first down. Golly. Keith, that was a sensational run. There was nothing inside. Allen makes a little dip, sets up his block, uses his lateral speed, and jumps outside for eight yards in the first down. 38 carries, 208 yards now in the ball game for Allen. 
And the UCLA man shaking up on the play is Mike Durden. There's your third quarter score up in Seattle as the Huskies have responded with a touchdown of their own. The lead 17 to 10. As John Robinson pointing out what the options are to his quarterback, John Mason, being as cool as he possibly can, giving him the options of what UCLA might do in this situation. USC with 23 first downs, 19 of them on the ground, four through the air. Keith, I'd rather have John Robinson in this situation coming from behind than any coach in America. He's so capable, capable at this. Got pretty good people on the field, too. That helps. <laughs> from the 28 of the Bruins, first down. Goes to Allen. Over the left side he goes for about seven. Martin Moss just came out for the UCLA defensive unit and they are beleaguered at the moment. UCLA offense needing really to sit on that ball a while in order to give them some uh, opportunity to let that defense rest as Allen leaves the game for a moment. But the UCLA defense just got to tighten the old belt. Boy, oh, it's tough to do when the momentum changes. Allen is hurt right now, Keith, it appears. Second down, four. Go inside to the fullback. Spencer, and Spencer's got a first down as a big surge up the middle. Open the door for him. He goes inside the UCLA 15 to the 14. As we look at this, Marcus Allen, looks like his knee is bothered, shoulder, or shoulder's shoulder. bothered a little bit. But give credit to Bruce Matthews, Tony Slate, and Roy Foster for their surge right up the middle, letting Spencer make the first down. Time remaining in the ball game. First down. Just short of the UCLA 14. Ruins now with eight man front up there. They go to Spencer again, and Spencer goes inside the 10, down to the 7. Boy, Boy he, he's picking up the pieces. He's running like a wild man, Keith. He was hit on the last two carries, short of the what he finally made, just with leg drive and right through for nine yards on that play. Allen comes back. Spencer has 87 yards. He has to leave the ball game for a moment. In comes McClanahan at fullback. Take a timeout, John. Get settled. Take a timeout. That a boy. They need that. Things weren't quite settled. So UCLA with three timeouts remaining. The Trojans now have two. Two minutes and 17 seconds to play in a ball game. To Southern California with the football. Second down, a yard for a first down. Trailing in the ball game by six, 21 to 15. UCLA defense trying to dig in. Eight man front again for the Bruins. Allen. Touchdown. touchdowns on the year for Allen 40 carries today 219 yards it's 21 21 tie and now Steve Jordan he is going to try to break the tie out of Scott Kingsley's hold it is good blocking to the left side of the line Matthews number 66 Mosbar number 72 and Pat McCool, number 88, wiped off the side of the left side of the line. Allen goes in standing up. And it's 22-21 USC with 2.14 to play. Up in Seattle, the score is now Washington 20, Washington State 10. Rose Bowl situation is this. If Washington wins, and they're leading by 10, and USC wins here, and they're leading by one, then Washington is going to the Rose Bowl. Well, 
way the Trojans can get into the Rose Bowl is if they play a tie in Seattle. I've explained it 14 times. That's enough. <laughs> One more time, I'm going to get confused. UCLA had game in pretty good shape until they threw the interception. Troy West came down and set the Trojans up for the go-ahead touchdown. That 23rd touchdown of Allen ties O.J. Simpson's uh, record at USC, but O.J. had one in, a, in a Rose Bowl. It'll be UCLA's ball out on the 20. And knocked it deep. So now it is up to Terry Donahue, UCLA Bruins, and his coaching staff. They have two minutes and 14 seconds to play in the game. They have a fine field goal kick. They are behind for the first time in this ball game since uh, that opening field goal by USC. They are behind by a point, 22-21. There's the scoring drive set up by interception. Troy West, number nine, the Troy safety. Tom Ramsey, the quarterback, will put it up on first down. He won't eat it. Yes, he does. He shoveled the ball off to Bruno, the fullback, and Frank gets about two yards. Jack Del Rio has played a heck of a ball game for USC at outside linebacker. A freshman from Hayward was all over Ramsey, and uh, Tom dumped it off to his fullback for a two-yard pickup. Willie Curran, number 18, comes in. Minute 53 to play in the game. Williams had two uh, three timeouts remaining. The Trojans two. Tim Reitman goes in motion. They haven't thrown to him much today. The pass is thrown, incomplete, intended for Curran, who had lost his footing and fallen down. I think we should mention that Carmack Carney, the UCLA's leading receiver, was injured early in the ball game and has not returned. This has handicapped Ramsey to some degree. Mike Young is in. He's a freshman from Vassalia, California. He goes in at a receiver spot. Townsell is out there, wide to the top of the picture. It is third down and eight. Big play. It is complete. It is caught by Jojo Townsell. Up across the 40 for a first down. It's a sensational kick. He's going inside, getting in behind Turner, number 34. So watch this sensational acrobatic catch. Turn, 360 degrees, catches it and falls for the big first down. Jojo has caught five for 85 yards today. First down, UCLA at their own 41. Bruins can go to the Rose Bowl if they can pull it out. And Washington beats Washington State. Ramsey's pass is away. It's too high. It's intercepted. Penalty. Intercepted, but there's a penalty flag on the field. Joe Turner comes down with it. It's rough in the pass of Keith. So UCLA gets another chance. Whoa, what a mistake if that's the case. August Curley, number 87. That's the second time, isn't it? Yep, that's what it is. Let's watch it again. August Curley, number 87. Rams is rolling out. He Ramsey sees, makes a mistake here now, Frank, by yes, throwing the ball. Throws the ball too high. Curley, number 87, goes right into him after the ball was thrown. A 15-yard penalty. First down, the clock does start. UCLA's got to get their play called and get out of the huddle. Minute and Go. eight seconds to play in a ball game, and it's first down. UCLA at the Southern California 44. Passer. First he down. UCLA with three timeouts. Southern Cal with two. And Johnson has... Pretty good leg for the Bruins. If they have to go for the field goal. Here's Ramsey back to throw. Penalty flag is down. The pass is incomplete intended for Reitman. Keith, if my memory is right, Reitman, their leading receiver, has not caught a pass. Caught one. Caught one. one. 
That's right. One for three yards. Yards. That's for three yards. That's right. It's against the Bruins. Now the Bruins make a mistake. Motion. Receiver was a little bit anxious. To get a, down and get open. A minute and three to play, and the penalty will back him up to the 49. Keith, what is Johnson's range, the kicker for UCLA? What's his longest field goal? Formation on the offense. First down. Well, his longest is 49 yards, and he's seven out of nine, over 40 yards. Two, completion, two completed passes is all they need. First and 15. Ramsey goes short over the middle. The pass is caught by the fullback. Bruno coming out of the backfield, and the big fullback goes hammering down inside the 40 to the 37. Frank Bruno from Metuchen, New Jersey. Well, that was a great call because the UCLA, excuse me, Southern Cal, there's the kicker, Johnson, number eight. Oh, he has got the pressure. All the marbles, possibly a Rose Bowl. Time called by UCLA, stopping the clock with 55, 55 seconds remaining in the game. The place kicker for UCLA, the Bruins, on second down and the short four, trying to get it down, where he has a reasonable chance. 22-21, USC lead. Bruins with a win. Washington beating Washington State have a chance to go to the Rose Bowl. That issue far from settled in Seattle, but last we heard it was 20 to 10 for the Huskies. Ramsey gives it to Nelson, and Nelson is decked by Keith Browner, number 57, an outside linebacker who had taken one step into the, the uh, across the line of scrimmage, and he was right there to hammer the Bruin tailback. They call two plays in the huddle. It brings up third down and three. And uh, UCLA needs nine yards to get him in range for the... Oh, they no. don't get it, or do they? Yeah, they Long may the have. Spot. Yes, they gave him the first down. Number 79, Ussery, and 51, Banks. And they couldn't, I don't think, quite contain him. His lunge is enough. And UCLA has a first down with 28 seconds to play in the game. Keith Nelson could have scored except for that arm reached that, uh, that Southern Cal reached out and got him. It is first down. From the 34, they give it to Nelson. Nelson cuts it back over the left side, goes inside the 30, and boy, he had some room again. Joey Browner took his feet from under him. It's going to be Norm Johnson's party, I think. Set, Keith, they need to set it up in the middle, over to the right, they right in one front time of the now they spin the timer. They spend it with five seconds. Keith, they messed up. They had a head time to run one play and put the ball right in front of the goalpost. But this young man on his shoulders, UCLA is in the Rose Bowl. Or they're not if he misses it. Now they're yeah, they're on the near hash mark, of course, but he side wheels into it. It's a lot be, better being for him being where he is yes, than also, being on the other side. That's correct, because it's more of a compensate kick when you're on the right hash mark, mark for a sidewinder. It's going to be, what, Keith, uh, 35, 45 yards, 46 yards. Here it is, the Rose Bowl. Well, it's close to 47. He's marked him very close to the 47. In fact, eight yards, that's a little bit more than normal. Seven is desired. Should be the last play of the ball game. Four seconds on the clock. Four. Oh, my goodness. Terry Donahue. Look at those faces. John Robinson. Look at Terry. 89,000 people on their feet. 46 yards officially, they say. Snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is blocked. Chica and West came storming in. The game is over. The Trojans win it 22 to 21. You never know whether he hit it or not. Well, that the Southern Cal team was in the backfield, Keith. They came storming, didn't they? Didn't they, though? Conquest echoes again in the Coliseum.
coaches have shaken hands. Bitterly disappointed, Norm Johnson walks away. And the USC Trojans come from behind. They trailed at one time in the ball game by nine. They came back and they pulled it out 22 to 21. And it's their custom, as you see Johnson again. His kick, a 46 yards blocked. Terry Donahue, bitterly disappointed, I'm sure. Had his team brilliantly prepared for this ball game. The offense could not keep the defense off the field enough in that second half to really give them time to rest. And eventually, Southern California wore them down. Now the custom of USC is to go across in front of the student section with the team. another look at the play that won the game for USC. He, I believe that Johnson is a yard too deep. Now, I'm not sure that has any fact on maybe he just hit the ball low, which he did. But I guess the cheek of number 78 got his hand up, came right through the middle, which is, let's watch it again. From count, to count the red shirts now. I think they're five, if not six. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six of them penetrate. I believe the kick, uh, I don't believe Johnson wanted to line up eight yards deep. Seven is the normal. Well, these young people have prepared themselves, concentrated on this, came into a ball game that was marked by mistakes. It is a heart tearing opportunity for Brad Clemens and many others like him. They gave it all their head. And it was just one point. Two. Great ball. Expertly coached by both stands. There's John Robinson now talking to the student section. McClanahan among those over there while on the other side of the field. Man in the blue shirt, number 31. Our senior is Fort Williams. Some of the great players we've ever had. Well, as usual, it was a spectacular football game, loaded with mistakes on both sides. Mistakes came at most opportune times, but in the end, USC won it by one. It is joyous on the USC side of the field. The UCLA team is gone, except for a couple. Now, as for the Rose Bowl, Southern California winning here eliminated UCLA from the Rose Bowl. The game up in Seattle, if Washington hangs on, and they led by 10 when last we heard, if the Huskies hang on and beat Washington State, then the Washington Huskies are going to the Rose Bowl. And I'm sure USC is going to be going to a bowl, and I would be very surprised if UCLA doesn't go to a bowl. So that fundamentally is the circumstance regarding the Rose Bowl. All Washington now has to do is hold on and beat Washington Michael State Tiger. in Seattle, and the Huskies will go back to Pasadena for a second successive year. Our coverage of NCAA football today scheduled to conclude at 7 Eastern time in light of a Federal Communications Commission regulation and planned programming for this evening in some markets, we will be unable to bring you the conclusion of the Washington-Washington State game. But we'll be back with an update and the final results of that game during Love Boat at 8.10 p.m. Eastern time. For those stations remaining with us, we'll be returning after a station break to the Washington-Washington State game. 21. Limp provided by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Travel arrangements made through and promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United flies more people to Hawaii than any other airline. That's what friendly skies are all about. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports recognized around the world as the leader in sports television. Saturday.